up. Oh, oh, like the Pixar movie. Yeah, this old guy, he like wants his house to fly, so he ties a bunch of balloons to his house, and his house actually flies, so I want my house to fly. Look, you can't really do that, Junior. That was just a movie. What? Yeah, I can. Balloons make stuff go in the air. So if I put enough balloons on my house, it'll go in the air. Well, maybe, but it would take, like, millions of balloons. So we're just going to get millions of balloons. Well, how are you going to get millions of balloons? You buy it. Yeah, what an idiot. Like, he's so dumb. He acts like he doesn't know what money is. Dude, it's like only two cents for balloons. Yeah, so it's like only like 20 bucks. <laughs> he's what? supposed to be the smart one. I know. Junior, just because you see something in a movie doesn't mean you can really do it. It happened in a movie, Cody, so that means it can really happen. They don't make movies about stuff that doesn't happen. Well, yes, they do. They do it all the time. Like, what about Star Wars? That actually happened. It happened a long time ago in a galaxy far, far away. They even tell you in the beginning, Cody, it's history. <sighs> okay, fine. So look, you're, you're telling me that every Pixar movie didn't actually happen, so you're telling me that there's like Ratatouille. There's not a restaurant in France that's like ran by rats? Well, yeah, no, that did not happen. So monsters don't come out of your closet to collect your screens? Yeah, but that, that happens. But no, it doesn't. No, yes, it does, Cody. Yes, it does, dude. My uncle comes out of my closet to collect my screens all the time. Exactly. Look, look, Cody, we're gonna prove to you. Come on, let's go look at my closet. I bet you're gonna see the monster universe. I see my uncle. All right, guys, we're about to open my closet. You ready to see a bunch of monsters trying to collect our screams so they can feed their families? Dude, I gotta warn you guys first. My Uncle Larry, he doesn't like to wear pants. He's a goofball. Guys, there's not gonna be anything in that closet but clothes. Well, if my Uncle Larry's in that closet, there would not be any clothes. Alright, look guys, guys, we're gonna open the door and we're gonna see a bunch of monsters on the laugh floor. Oh wait, I forgot! They collect our laughs now. So Cody, when we prove you wrong, we're all gonna laugh at you so we can give them a bunch of energy. Oh yeah. Alright, say hi to Mike Wazowski! <laughs> I told you. Oh, great. They shredded our door. What? Or there were no monsters in there to begin with. No, they heard about our plan that we were going to expose them, so they shredded our door because they didn't want us to find out about the monster world. Oh, dude, I hate when that happens. Well, Cody, why would you do this? Whatever. Wow, guys, I can't believe I'll never see Mike Wazowski do stand-up in my room ever again because they shredded my door. Again? Yeah, Mike Wazowski always came in my room and did jokes. Anyway, back to what I was saying. I want to blow up a bunch of balloons so my house can fly. I want to go to space. Junior, there's not enough balloons in the world to send your house to space. I have a bunch of balloons downstairs, Cody, and we're going to blow up some balloons and prove you wrong yet again. Uh, wait, ag again? You didn't prove me wrong about the monsters. <sighs> <sighs> oh, this is going to take forever. Joseph, how many balloons have you blown up? Only one, dude. I'm getting lightheaded. <sighs> me too. Junior, this isn't going to work. You don't have the right kind of balloons. What are you talking about? You need helium balloons. These are rubber balloons. No, no, Junior, helium is what goes inside the balloons. It's a gas. Oh, Joseph, we're supposed to be farting in the balloons. Start farting in them. Oh, I can do that. <sighs> no, 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 no. Junior, you don't <sighs> fart in the balloons. You, you have to mine for helium. You have to mine for it? Yes. You're mine, helium. You're mine. Yeah, you gotta want it. You're mine. No. Claim it. Oh my God. Come here, helium. You're yeah, mine. Own it. Junior, you have to drill for helium in the earth. Why? Because it comes out of rocks. Oh, we have to collect rock farts? Oh. Joseph, do you still have Dwayne The Rock Johnson's number? No, I lost it, dude. Oh, we could really use his farts right now. I know. All right, so we can just go buy helium balloons, right? Well, I mean, yeah. But Come on, Joseph, we're going to buy some balloons. Okay. But, but Junior, that's... All right, Cody, we bought a bunch of helium balloons. You bought three. Well, well, the guy in the movie used regular balloons. These have characters on them, so they're more powerful. What? The minions made so much money in the box office. You know how much weight that is to carry? Wait, Junior, it doesn't matter. They can't lift your house. Yes, they can. Well, they're not even lifting your couch, so why would they lift your house? Well, what do you want me to do, Cody? I want you to accept that your house is not going to fly. Yes, it's going to fly. Well, I want to go to space. Who are we going to talk to to help get my house go to space? Dude, call Elon Musk. He'll know. Oh, yeah, him. Wait, you still know his number? Oh, no, I forgot. <sighs> Joseph always forgets phone numbers. Ooh, ooh, I'm so stupid. What, dude? Why don't we just call some aliens to lift our house with a UFO? Dude, that's genius. Wait, Junior, you just know aliens that you could just call. Yeah, let's go outside. I know how to call them. Wait, what? Junior, how are you going to call an alien? Like this. <laughs> Junior, what was that? It's an alien phone call ring. Wait, really? Because it sounds like a turkey. <laughs> waka, waka, waka. Okay, that sounds like Pac-Man. Dude, look. Oh, what? You've got to be kidding me. All right, guys, get inside the house, get inside the house. Okay. Whoa! Oh, the house is getting lifted up, guys! I think the balloons are helping. No, Junior, I'm pretty sure it's the aliens with their UFO. No, the balloons are definitely helping a little bit. Guys, we're in space! Dude, this is so cool! How are we breathing? Okay, okay, guys, guys, uh, what's going on? We're in space! Yeah, yeah, I noticed. See, I, I, I was using your bathroom, because I do that sometimes. I like to just sneak into your house and use a bathroom, because I don't like using gas stations. And then when I tried to leave, I, I noticed we were in outer space. Yeah, I got aliens to take my house to space. Oh, okay, c cool. Uh, do you know when they're going to bring us back down to Earth? I don't know, I got to talk to them. Oh, 
Okay, well, I mean, that that's fine. I just, I left my car running, so I don't, I don't want it to run out of gas. And I was also on the phone with my wife, and, and I told her to hold on, so she's probably going to be on hold for a while. And she's always wanted to go to space together, so if I tell her I went without her, she'd be pretty mad. So. Oh, well, I'll try to talk to him, but I guess we'll be in space for a little bit. Okay, uh, that's that's fine. I, uh, I I guess I'll just walk walk around. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Charlie, you are so hilarious! Wait, wait, what are you doing in here? I told you to get out of here. You know I'm watching Charlie and friends. Wait, what are you doing with that knife? <laughs> huh? I wonder what's in this room. I mean, it's not my house, but I'm still curious. <laughs> All right, Cody, now that we're in space, can we go outside and, like, float around? No, Junior, there's no oxygen outside. What's oxygen? It's what we breathe, Junior. I thought we breathe helium. <sighs> Junior, you're so stupid. Guys, 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 I just found a body. What? what? Wait, 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 what's that mean? Well, it means somebody in this house is an imposter. Or a murderer. I mean, that, that's really a better term for what they're doing. They're not really impersonating anybody. Or someone in here is impersonating someone. That's not a bad person! Y yeah, yeah, I guess you could say that. Sure, yeah. Oh, well, where'd you find the body? Well, it was in your dad's room. <gasps> My dad's room? Well, we were all here. Yeah, we were in here, dude. Yeah, so you're the one who did it because you were the one that found it! What? No, I I'm a cop. I wouldn't do that. I mean, he is a cop. He is pretty nice. Well, was he unarmed? Yeah. Well, yeah. All oh, sus. Yeah, totally sus. Yeah. It's sus. Well, come on, why would I do that? Guys, I think we should skip because we don't really have any, like, you know, proof. So I think we should skip this round and just see if we have any, like, evidence next round. I guess so, dude. Let's skip. All right, you get away with this one. Okay, good. Now, I'm going to just walk around the house and try to find some more clues. Who could the imposter be? I don't know. Dude. Oh, my 100th cheesecake tonight, and I don't think I can finish it. Oh, who am I kidding? Of course I can. Come here, you. Oh, oh hey there, donkey. What are you doing with that knife? Would you like a piece of cheesecake? Oh, no. On booty, to the fruit, on booty, to the fruit, on booty, to the fruit, on booty! Jeffy, shut up! Mario, he's just being creative. Sometimes I just wish Jeffy was gone. Mario! To the fruit, on booty, to the fruit! Y'all is mature. Tootie fruity on that booty. Mario, I'm going into the kitchen. What? <sighs> Man, I'm hungry. <laughs> What? I'm calling a meeting. Where? 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 It was in the kitchen. I was upstairs. I was on the couch. Oh, well, I was doing my job in the kitchen. You were in the kitchen. It was you. Well, I was cooking in the kitchen. What were you cooking? Uh, pasta? Pasta. Imposter. It's him. Well, it's not me. You guys got to be kidding. Look, I am not the imposter. Look, uh, uh, I heard someone say, hey, donkey, a minute ago. <gasps> Mario, you're the only one he calls donkey. Mm -hmm. well, Shrek calls everyone donkey. How did you know it was Shrek? Sus. Sus. No, 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 no. I, I assumed it was Shrek because he said, hey, donkey, and it was in the kitchen. He always eats cheesecake in the kitchen, so I thought it was Shrek. Nope, it's him. I vote him. What? I vote Daddy. Me yeah, too. I vote Mario. What? Too. No. All right, get him. What out? Get him. Get him. Get him. Get him. Get him. Get him. Oscar. Oh, it wasn't him. Yeah, serves him right after he threw my avocado guitar. Everyone back to normal. Turn bird. Oh, booty. Turn bird. Oh, booty. Doing? What are you doing with that knife? Ah! Jeffy, I'm coming to say goodnight. Ah! Why did I report it? Where? 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 Right here, right there, right there. You reported it. That's kind of sus. <gasps> That's my son. Actually, he's adopted. She's already lying. Yeah, Teal's acting sus. Yeah, she's sus. Sus. I wouldn't kill Jeffy. All right, where was everyone at? Oh, I was upstairs. Well, I was in the kitchen. I was in the red couch room. Um, I was here. Oh, she totally did it. Yeah, it's her. Yeah, yeah it's her. Yeah, she, her. yeah, she did it, yeah. No, 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 no. Oh, she wasn't the imposter. Well, I'm going to go back to cooking. Well, I'm going to go back to looking for clues. I'm going to go sit with my friends again. Wait, how do you know one of your friends isn't the imposter? Because I've been with them the whole time. Except for right now. <gasps> Uh-oh. Cody, are you the imposter? No. Oh, buddy! Where? Where? Right here. And Cody totally did it because he didn't say anything. He didn't even report it. No, no, I didn't report it because I didn't want anybody to think that I did it. That's totally sus. Yeah, it's pretty sus. That's very sus. And Cody, you were sitting here next to him the whole time, so you would have saw who did it, and you did it. No, no, I got up to use the bathroom. Oh, so you just used the bathroom right now? Yeah, and I just got back. But here, ask Ken. Oh, come on, Ken! All right, does everybody vote Cody? Yeah. yeah. All right, let's throw him out. No, it wasn't me, guys! Get, get, get out of here! 
wasn't the imposter! Okay, I'm starting to feel kind of bad about this at this point. We just keep throwing people out into space. Yeah, we're basically the imposters because we keep killing everybody! Yeah, we probably killed more people than he has at this point. Alright, look, it's not gonna be hard to figure it out now because there's only three of us. Four. Oh, get out of here! Well, it wasn't him either, but we had to be sure. Yeah, he was really quiet and that was sus. Well, I'm gonna get back to cooking. Well, no, Chef PB, there's only three of us left. It's one of us, so we're all gonna stay here. Well, it wasn't me. I was cooking the whole time. You don't know how to cook. That's sus. I'm a chef, Junior. There's nothing sus about that. And what about this cop? Well, I was looking for clues. Well, well what clues have you found? Well, none. Oh, that's sus right there. Yeah, it's really sus because right. if you haven't found any clues yet, that means you haven't been looking for anything. You've been killing people. <laughs> no, 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 I wasn't doing that. I, I, I'm just I'm just really bad at my job, okay? Well, I think that's really sus. I think the cop did it. Yeah, wait, 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 wait. What about you? What have you been doing? I've just been sitting on this couch. Really? And that's where Joseph was found. Oh, well, well, no, no, I wasn't here when Joseph got found. I was with you on the, uh, discussing other stuff. I don't that's, know. That's pretty sus. Yeah, that's pretty sus. No, no, no. You've been walking around. We don't know where you've been. You claim to be cooking, but I don't smell any food. So I definitely think you're sus. I think just us. Oh, whatever, dude. I'm getting back to, to cooking because I'm tired of this, Junior. I don't know. Chef Evie's really sus because of how fast he wants to go to cooking. Yeah. Or you're sus because you want to stay next to me because you want to kill me. N -n no, no. You want me to be alone so you can kill me. Well, no, you get back. You step back. No, no. You step back. And you leave. You, you walk away. Well, this is my couch. You walk away. Oh, okay. <sighs> Who is it? Huh. Okay. So there has been some cooking going on. So he wasn't lying about that. But where is Chef Pee Pee? Oh man, I'm so nervous. It's either Chef Pee Pee or the cop. Chef Pee Pee or the cop. I should flip a coin. Heads or tails. What's that noise? Oh, oh God. Oh, oh. Chef Pee Pee! <laughs> I got you now, Junior. I'm the imposter. Emergency meeting. What? Uh, Chef Pee Pee's the imposter. Proof? Uh, he just fell out in the vent and he has this weapon. Well, I didn't know the no, no, Junior's the imposter. I saw him come out of the vent with the uh, knife. Yeah, no, 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 Chef Pee Pee, you came out of the vent. No, I saw you come out of the vent. Wait, 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 what's this vent thing you're talking about? I think the way Chef Pee has been killing everyone is he's been moving through the vent so we don't see him walking around. Huh, that'd be pretty smart. But you came up with that on your own? Well, I mean, I think that's what he's doing. Yeah, no, 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 that, you know, that must be what you're doing, Junior, because I didn't even know you could do that. Well, wait, I didn't know you could do that until I saw you do it. You're the one who came out of the vent. I was cooking the whole time, Junior. Wait, wait, wait. I just came from the kitchen and you weren't in there. Uh, I mean, I, I came up here as soon as he called the meeting. That's that's what it was. No, I only called the meeting because I saw you come out of the vent. Why would I call a meeting just for no reason? Y oh. y wait, 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 wait. You said you saw him come in the vent, but how could you do that if you were just coming from the kitchen? Uh, uh I was coming up uh, the stairs and I saw him coming out of the vent with a knife. Or I saw it all. No, I saw you come out of the vent. Why would I call a meeting? If, if I was gonna tell him myself. Oh, 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 I know. Because you wanted me to think it was him. Oh, yeah, yeah, exactly. Well, no, no, okay, so what if you would've showed up before him? Well, then you would've blamed me. Oh, yep, totally sus. It's him, it's him. Yep, I'm voting him. Oh, what Get him. No! Yeah. Get out of here! Okay, so it's you. No, it's you! No, I know it's obviously not me, because I know I didn't do it, and there's nobody else left. There's no point in lying now. Oh, yeah. You're right, you're right. I won! I won! Yeah, congratulations. You win life in prison when we get back to Earth. So, uh, when do we get back to Earth? I don't know, because we just threw the only guy who could talk to aliens into space. Oh. I win, though. Yeah, yeah, that's great. Congratulations. Thank you. Mm -mm -mm, I can't wait to eat my meatball sub. And I can't wait to eat my vegan tofu ball sub. Mm -mm -mm, I can't wait to eat dog shit. Jeffy, that is healthy. Well, Daddy, why do I have to eat the green bean sub and you guys get the yummy meatball sub? Because, Jeffy, you're really young, so you have to live a long time, so you have to eat healthier. Oh, well, so that means if you eat that, that means you'll die soon, and then I'll get to eat whatever the hell I want? Jeffy, just shut up and eat. <laughs> Well, I had to make room in my belly for my meatball sub. Oh, I had to make room in my belly for this. <laughs> Ew, Jimmy, don't, don't blow it this way. Go open up a window. All right. I'm just going to take this with me. You're disgusting, Jeffy. I open the window. I'm just going to throw this out there. Jeffy, where's your sandwich? I ate it. Where's the plate? I put it in the dishwasher. Aw, good job, Jeffy. Yeah, I'm a responsible boy. Well, Jeffy, you let two flies in the house. Go close the window. Okay. Oh, no, Marvin, what's on my sandwich? Shoot, shoot. Oh, there's one in my face. I got it. Ow! Oh, no, Daddy's on the back of your head. Ow! 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 Jeffy, stop it! Aw, oh, it's back on my sandwich again. I got it. Ow, Jeffy, give me that. Ow! Yeah, that's 
did you get? Ow, you know. Boy, stop it! Ow, he won't stop hitting me. Ow, right now. He won't stop hitting me. Ow. Oh, you know what, Jeffy? That's it. Do, do it that. We're gonna use raid, okay? To get rid of these stupid flies. No more hitting me with it. Okay. I got the raid. Where are the two flies at? They flew away, Marvin. Did they fly back outside? No, Dan. You told me to close the window. Oh, Jeffy, can you go looking for the flies? You want me to search the entire house for two flies? Well, your eyes look in two different directions, so it shouldn't be too hard. That is true. I'm on it, Daddy. Marvin, that was mean. Baby, I want those flies dead. They ruined our meatball date. I was about to go down on these balls. That was sus, Daddy. Jeffy, go look for the flies. All right. Hmm, where could these flies be? What the? Okay, meatball sub, get in my mouth. Ah. Daddy! The two flies are banging on my bed! What? Yeah, come here! Oh, they're trying to reproduce, baby. Not my watch. Take that, you flying bitches! Yeah, you flying whores! What? Stop banging on my bed! No, Jeffy, where are the flies at? I don't know, Danny. They were just right here. You're not lying to me, are you? No. <gasps> Danny, look. Oh, my God. They had babies! Jeffy, quick, let's leave the room and close the door and lock them in here. All right, Danny. Okay, Jeffy, we locked them in the room. Well, what do we do now? We're gonna have to call a bug guy. Come on. Baby, where's my phone? What's wrong, Marvin? Those two flies, they reproduced, and now there's thousands of them. What? Yeah, but don't worry. I locked them in a room. Well, is that gonna work? It's gonna work for now until we call an exterminator, and I know exactly who to call. Just, where's my phone? <laughs> Okay, I found my phone. It's ringing. Please answer. Hello, I'm cooking dinner. What you want? Uh, we're trying to hire an exterminator. I'm retired. I'm sorry. Well, no, you don't understand. You're really good at killing flies, and there's a bunch of flies in my house. I stopped killing flies a long time ago after I avenged my dead grandfather. Well, can you come please kill a few more flies? They're all in my house. I vow to never kill another fly again. I'm sorry. You'll have to find someone else. Oh, uh, Marvin, what? Oh my god! There's thousands of flies coming out of my air vents! I'm sorry, but there's nothing I can do! Hey! Your grandfather was a pussy! What'd you say to me, Fry? I said your grandfather was a pussy and you're a pussy too! Oh, I'll come over there! Kick your ass, Fry! I'd like to see you try, pussy! Oh, pussy! I'll show you, pussy! I'm on my way and I'm gonna kill all those flies! Okay, he's on his way to kill the flies. That must be him! Hello? Where is it? Where's the goddamn fry? What is that? This is my assault rifle. It shoots salt at fries and kills them. Salt kills flies? Yes, because to fry, salt is like little tiny bullets. See the salt? Yeah, because real bullets are too big to kill the fry. Well, this is gonna kill the flies. Oh, it's gonna kill them real good. Oh, okay, come upstairs. Look, 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 all the flies are in here. Oh my oh God, that's a swarm of fries. Now, which one of them called me pussy? Uh, I think it was that one. Oh, you're gonna die, you son of a bitch! They're dropping like flies! Oh no, I ran out of salt! <laughs> it's time to whip out Old Faithful. This is for my grandfather! He ain't no pussy! And neither am I! Oh no, they're taking me away! Help me! Oh, they're getting me too! Ah! Uh, what's going on? They tied us up and they're gonna kill us like they did my grandma! I don't wanna die! I don't wanna die either! Listen up! Today, you killed 13 of my brothers, so you will be punished with your lives! Currently, we are spreading lighter fluid around your house, and Tommy here will use this match and set your house on fire, burning you to death! Yeah! I'm gonna burn you all to death, you pussies! Damn it, I didn't get him! Oh, come on, can we work something out? Nope, you're gonna die. So don't even try escaping, because we have flies guarding the door. Oh, man, I don't wanna die. I got an idea. We can call my son. He's very good at killing flies. But if someone can reach into my pocket and grab my phone, we can call him for help. My hands are tied up. So are mine. Oh, my God. Jeffy, your hands are free. If you can just reach into his pocket and grab his phone, we can call his son. Just hurry. Hurry. All right, I'm looking for it. I think I got something. That's my egg roll. Oh. Oh, okay, I found your phone now. 
Oh, it's ringing. Uh, hello, welcome to Great Viral China Restaurant. How may I pick up your oob? Oh, uh, yeah, can I get two orders of yum yum rice, please? Oh, uh, yeah, the rum rum rice. Anything else? Oh, don't forget the egg roll. You got one in your pants. Ooh, I want some spring rolls. And an order of spring rolls, please. Oh, uh, yeah, the spring roll. You want something to drink with that? Only $6 a month. What are you guys doing? Tell them about the flies. Oh, yeah, your daddy's tied up and there's flies everywhere. Holy shit, the flies got the back hapu. I'm on my way. He said he's on his way. Is he bringing the spring rolls? Forget about the food, we're about to die! Wah! 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 Die, you stupid fry! Where's my papu? Die, you muddy king fry, piece of shit! Wah! A papu, I come to save you! You did good, too! Did you bring the spring rolls? Shut up about food, untie us! Okay, I will untie you! Yeah, you gotta untie us so we can avenge your great grandfather! The papu, whatever happened to the great grandfather? You never tell me! I think you're old enough to know, too. Everyone got time for a story? I'd like to be saved first. I'll tell you a story. Your great grandfather was a warrior! A Chinese samurai defending the Great Wall of China from the Mongolian fries. The fries would try to fry over the Great Wall to take over China, and he would shoot them down with his bow and arrow and cut them in half with his sword. And after a long day of battle, he'd go home and he'd make a bowl of chicken fried rice, and he was eating it with his chopsticks. And as he take a bite, a fry fry into his mouth. And he started choking, like, <laughs> and he fell over and died. I was just a little kid at the time, and I woke up and went into the kitchen holding my brankie to get a glass of rice milk. And I see my grandfather on the ground, and I say, Wake up, grandfather, wake up! And I poke him with his chopsticks, and I find out he's dead, and I cry. So I take his samurai sword. And I go outside and practice. And next day, I go out and kick Mongolian fry ass to avenge my grandmother! Uh, uh, that story is so sad. I wish I could have met my great grandpa. That's why we have to kill all the fries to avenge your great grandmother. That make me want to kill every fry. Can you untie us first? Sure. Come here, fry. Go get him, too! Why didn't he untie us first? Uh, Jeffy, use your open hand and cut us open. <laughs> okay, I got the rope off. Let's get out of here. We gotta go see if my son, too, needs help. He might need backup. But the house might burn down. Yeah, we're getting out of here. Come on, Jeffy. Well, then it's up to me. Mm-mm-mm. My meatball sub is almost done. Get out of here, you stupid fly. Me, you pussy. Wait, what you say? What the? Oh, thank you for killing that fly for me. Oh, uh, this is no problem. Oh my god, Tommy, no! Get him, guys! Wait, where did all these flies from? I'm out of here! <laughs> oh, you're dead now, and no one's here to save you. <laughs> there was salt in the pantry. You saved my life, father. No, too. You saved my life by carrying all those fries. You just like your great grandpa. <gasps> I'm like a great grandpa. I'm so honored. Yeah, let's go celebrate with some chicken fried rice and some rice milk. Okay. Marvin, I'm so glad all those flies are gone and that the house wasn't burned down. We're never opening a window ever again. Oh my god, Marvin, there's a fly left. Kill it, kill it, kill it, kill it, kill it. No, no, don't kill me. I'm a baby. Oh, Marvin, it's just a baby fly. Can we keep it? What the? Good job, too. Uh, it's dead now. Well, now time for Bill. You call exterminator and we exterminate. Uh, I forgot that I had to pay you guys. Get him, too. What the? Ow! Time you pay, pussy boy. Yeah, pussy. Are they gone? Oh man, I can't wait to watch Charlie and Friends. It's my favorite show ever. Time for Charlie. Who likes Charlie? We like Charlie. Everybody loves when Charlie. Who got Charlie? Where is Charlie? There is Charlie. He got everything that you need. He likes to eat food and stuff. But Charlie, he is he's awesome. Here's the Charlie and Friends show. Do, 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 do. Charlie and Friends was filmed in front of a live audience. Oh, hi, guys. I'm Charlie. 
and today I'm gonna drive this car blindfolded. <laughs> what could go wrong? <laughs> oh, Charlie, you can't drive blindfolded. That's so dangerous. <laughs> huh? Breaking news, okay? Famous TV actor from the hit TV show Charlie and Friends has been arrested for reckless driving. He was driving blindfolded and hit a family of six, injuring everyone in the vehicle. What? Charlie's in jail? There will never be another new episode of Charlie and Friends! <laughs> Alright, zebra cakes, are you white with black stripes or black with white stripes? <laughs> Wait, so you're crying because your favorite TV show character is in jail? Yes! And I don't think I'll ever stop crying! <laughs> oh my god, he's so annoying! Oh, uh, Joseph, I'm so bored. Me too, dude. Guys, 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 guys. What is it, Cody? My mom bought me three tickets to a dinosaur monster truck rally on ice. A dinosaur monster truck rally? On ice? Yeah, it's dinosaurs driving monster trucks on ice. Oh my god, that's so awesome! Yeah, dude, I gotta go! Oh, are they real dinosaurs? Well, I mean, it's obviously just guys in dinosaur costumes driving monster trucks, but there's no way they can see out of those costumes. Someone's gonna die. Oh, I'm only going if someone dies, dude. Yeah, I want to see someone die. Well, I heard at their last show in Denver, a monster truck plowed into the stands and killed 18 people. Oh, we're totally gonna die. Yo, we're definitely gonna die, dude. Oh, hold on, hold on. What row are we? Row one, baby! Oh, we're gonna die! Roadkill! Oh, all right, we gotta go, we gotta go, we gotta go. Come on, let's go. Oh, let's go, let's go. Oh, hold on. I gotta ask my dad. <laughs> I don't have parents. Lame. Oh, okay, hold on. Look, my dad's gonna let me go because my dad loves to see me happy. <laughs> oh, Charlie, I'm so sad. <laughs> um, hey, dad. Uh, hey, dad. I know you're crying, but um, I gotta ask you something, Dad. What do you want, Junior? Um, so my friends have tickets to Dinosaur Monster Truck Rally on Ice, and we're really hoping the monster truck will like jump in the stands and kill us. So can I go? No, you can't go. If I'm not happy, then you're not happy. Well, why are you unhappy, Dad? Because Charlie's in jail, and I'm not gonna be happy until he's out of jail. Um, okay. <sighs> what a long face, buddy. What'd your dad say? He said no. <laughs> What's wrong with your dad, dude? Yeah, I didn't know he was such a square. Well, he only said no because he's sad. Why is he sad? Because his favorite TV show character, Charlie, got arrested. Ooh, for what, dude? I don't know. Ooh, I'm gonna look it up. Oh my god. What, what'd he do? It says he was driving blindfolded and he crashed into a minivan with a family of six in it. Ooh, did they die? No, they just all sprained their ankles really bad. Aww. But still, that's so stupid. You know, he's young, he's a millionaire, he has his whole life ahead of him, and he threw it all away because he decided to drive impaired. Well, my dad said he's only going to be happy when Charlie gets out of jail. Oh, Junior, he's not getting out of jail anytime soon. He's going to be in there for at least five days. Five days? Well, I was hoping that if Charlie got out, my dad would be happy enough to let me go to the monster truck rally. Well, he's not getting out to night, Junior. But look, the monster truck rally doesn't start for another two hours, so you have until then to conv your, convince your dad to let you go, you know? You know, that's what I meant to say. But my brain decided to shut down. Yeah, I can tell. Well, listen, okay, so we have two hours. <gasps> what if we break Charlie out of jail, okay, and then we bring him here, and then my dad meets Charlie, and he's so happy, he'll let me go to the monster truck rally. Junior, that's a lot of work to go through just to see dinosaurs driving monster trucks on ice. What, well, Cody, when will I ever see dinosaurs driving monster trucks on ice again? I mean, probably never. I'm pretty sure this is their last show. I mean, they have a lot of lawsuits going on because a lot of people have died, and I mean, it's pretty crazy if you think about it. It's just literally people in dinosaur costumes driving monster trucks on ice. It's a total shit show. Like, they're gonna jump the ramp, and when they land, they can't use the brakes because of the ice, and they're just gonna plow into the stands and people are gonna die. It's gonna be really short. I have to go to that. Yeah, it does sound awesome. Okay, so guys, who's with me to break Charlie out of jail tonight? Uh, you guys have fun breaking Charlie out of jail. I'm gonna go ahead and go to the to the monster truck rally and take my seat. J J J Joseph, give me some popcorn. P popcorn? He didn't hear me. Oh, Cody, will you please help me break Charlie out of jail? I have to go to this monster truck rally. I don't know. Pretty please. With what on top? Pretty please with a cherry on top. Okay, yeah, I'll do it. Oh, okay, let's go. Okay, so my plan is we're going to go to the jail. We're going to go to the visitation hours for Charlie, and then we're going to break him out. Oh, oh, I know. I know. I could, tie, I could hide a key up my butt. I'll hide a key up your butt? Yeah. I mean. You think that'll help? I mean, I guess. Well, it's already up there, so I'll just do that, and we'll see what happens. Okay. <laughs> 
All right, there he is, Charlie, the criminal. Now you guys get five minutes of visitation, but no funny business. I got my eyes on you. All right, Cody, we have to break him out quick. <laughs> hey, psst, Charlie. Oh. Hi, guys. I'm Charlie. And today, I'm in jail. <laughs> I didn't realize he talked like that all the time. Yeah, it's really weird. Hey, Charlie, we want to help you. You want to help me? Well, I haven't had my one phone call today. I don't have my cell phone. <laughs> That's pretty good. Where's the laughing coming from? I don't know. But, look, look, Charlie, we want to help you break out of here. Help me break out? I'm not a genie in a lamp. Now I see why he has writers. Yeah, no, no, we want to help you break out of jail. Break me off a piece of that Kit Kat bar. No, 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 we want to help you break out of jail. Look, 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 look. So this is what we want to do. So we want you to fake like you're sick. And then we're gonna tell the guard that you're really sick. He's gonna open up the, the, the cell, and then when he gets in here, we're gonna knock him out, and you're gonna escape with us. Sounds like a plan. All right, let's go get, let's go get the guard. Okay. Guard, guard, guard! What, what is it? Did he want you to sneak him something in your butt? No. Oh, well then what is it? Uh, Charlie is really sick. You have to go check on him. Take care of him. What, take care of him? I'm not his little mommy. You're in jail. Get over it. Well, no, no, no. I, I think Charlie might die. He's like really sick. He, he might die. Oh, man. He'd be the third person to die in here this week. All right, fine. I'll just check on him. All right, Charlie, act like you're sick. Oh, oh, oh my stomach hurts so bad. I'm pooping so bad. Oh. oh, man, Charlie, you don't even have your pants down. He's pooping in his pants. Well, well shouldn't you go in there and change him? What, change him? No, he's a grown-ass man. Oh, I keep pooping. Oh. Yeah, you, you should definitely change him. All right, I'll, I'll at least try to change him. Let me unlock this. Oh. Wait, wait a minute. These aren't the cell keys. These are my car keys. I drive a Hyundai Sonata in stormy sea blue. <laughs> it's sick. Well, can you just like let him out? You see this button right here? I can make my car back up without even being inside. Well, you should really like open the cell. We should go check on him. Uh, well, I can't do it with these. I'm gonna have to put these down. Uh, these are the cell keys. Well, hurry up and open it. Get it open. <laughs> All right, poopy pants, take those clothes off. Take my clothes off? You have to take me to dinner first. <laughs> Where the hell is that laugh track coming from? He's in solitary confinement. There's no one around. Yeah, it's really weird. So, hey, uh, if you don't want to change his poopy pants, I'll do it. Really? You'd do that for me? Yeah, it doesn't seem like you want to do it. No, I really don't like wiping grown men's poopy butts. Okay, you can do it. Okay, so, uh, if you just cover your eyes for, like, five minutes, I'll change his pants. You know what? I'm gonna trust you, because you definitely don't seem like the kind of person who would break him out of jail, then take him home to your dad, because your dad's his biggest fan, and then harbor a fugitive for a while until I randomly come search your house. What? No, 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 I would never do that. I know you wouldn't, buddy. I'm gonna cover my eyes now. Okay, uh, come on, Charlie. Let's go change your pants. Escape, escape, escape. Run, 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 run. <laughs> you know, it uh, sure sounds like I was wrong about you. All right, Charlie, this is my house. Oh, wow. A lot better than the place we were just at. Why are they laughing? It wasn't that funny. I think they laugh at everything he says. All right, Charlie, I need you to meet my dad. Okay. Come on. Oh, Dad, we have a surprise for you. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Uh, Dad? Dad? Where are you, Dad? Your dad must have left when you were five years old. Like mine did. Well, no, 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 I promise he was here. Sure he was, little one. No, 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 let's go ask Chef Pee Pee. Chef who now? Oh, man, I can't wait to eat my applesauce. Come on, get in there. God. Hey, Chef Pee Pee. What do you want, Junior? I'm trying to eat this applesauce. Why don't you just use a normal spoon? Because all the spoons are dirty, Cody. Well, why don't you just pour the applesauce into the ladle and eat it out of that? Shut up, Cody! God. Um, Chef Pee Pee, do you know who my dad is? Oh, yeah, your dad is so depressed. I think he said he was going to a monster truck rally to get ran over by a truck? Whoa, 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 what? So your dad would have died to his monster truck on ice? Yeah, yeah, that's it. But Cody, my dad went to the monster truck rally! Well, that means we can just go. He won't know. Okay, then let's go. Screw the whole Charlie thing. Okay. Come on, Cody, we gotta go. Where are you guys going? Oh, uh... I forgot he was here. Yeah, um, so we're going to a monster truck rally. Ooh, can I come? Uh, we don't have enough tickets. Uh -huh. Yeah, so, so go hide somewhere in the house. Ooh, I love hide and seek. Come on, Cody, hurry, we're gonna be late. Hey. Uh, hello, officer. Don't hello, officer me. You broke my trust, and now I'm mad. I'm really mad, and you wouldn't like me when I'm mad, because I throw things and I say things I don't mean, ugly face. I'm sorry, I didn't mean that. You're actually kind of cute. Uh, officer, I didn't lie to you. Charlie broke out of jail on his own. Oh, so you're telling me you didn't break Charlie out of jail and then bring him back to your house to show your dad because your dad's his biggest fan just so you could go to some kind of monster truck rally with dinosaurs and ice? No. Well, that's what it looks like to me. Hmm? No. Oh, no, no, I promise that's not what happened. Charlie is not in this house. You promise? I promise. You pinky promise? I pinky promise. Okay. 
I guess I believe you. Wait a minute, is that a laugh track? That, that means he's here, he's telling jokes, and that means you lied to me. I'm gonna go look for him. Oh, okay, Cody, while he looks for Charlie, let's go to the monster truck rally. No, 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 you don't. You're not, f my hat. Here you go, officer, here's your hat. What? Thank you. You know what? You can go. I like you. Thanks. Wait, he gets to go? Yeah, because I like him. He got my hat. People don't do that kind of thing anymore. But I don't like you because you lied to me. Twice. Yeah. Wait, I didn't mean to lie. I mean, I didn't lie. He's not here. Can I go to the monster rally? No, you and me are going to go look for Charlie in your house. Now, come on. <sighs> Okay. All right, now where could Charlie be? I'm telling you, he's not in this house. I don't believe you anymore, liar. Hmm. Oh, I know how to make Charlie come out. Time for Charlie, who likes Charlie? We like Charlie. Everybody loves some Charlie. Who's got Charlie? Where's Charlie? There's Charlie! Oh, dang it, he got me. What? You lied three times, triple liar. What? Come here, Charlie. Ah! All right, Charlie, you're going back to jail for five days. No, my butt can't handle jail. Well, you should have thought about that before you drove blindfolded. Nyah! Come on. Well, maybe I can still make the monster truck rally. Man, that monster truck rally was amazing. Oh, it was totally awesome. I loved it. Wait, you guys are back? The monster truck rally ended already? Yeah, it ended early because people died. Yeah, the monster truck flew over our head and it killed the people in the row behind us. Yeah, the tires missed our head by like an inch. Those people are so lucky. Oh, man, I had a blast, Junior. I even forgot Charlie was locked up. And I missed all that? Yeah, sucks to be you. <laughs> well, what was that? While you were gone, Charlie was in the house. What did I tell you about Lonnie? Junior, you're grounded. Oh, let alone Facebook. <laughs> Why am I so sick? Chef BB. Oh, what, boss? Chef BB, why are you laying on the couch? You're supposed to be working. Wait, is that toilet paper? Are you pooping on the couch again? No, I'm not pooping on the couch. I'm sick. I needed the toilet paper to wipe my nose because we ran out of tissue. Ran out of tissue. Oh yeah, I forgot you people think your butt is your nose. Wait, wait, are you wiping your dirty butt on my couch? No, I'm not wiping my butt on your couch. Look, I don't care. I want you to make me a pizza and make it right now. Look, and wash your dirty butt hands. Oh, I can't make a pizza. I'm sick. <laughs> oh boss, the pizza's ready. <laughs> oh, the pizza's ready? Ew, what are these green things on my pizza? They better not be boogers, Chef Pee Pee. Well, the shit ain't sprinkles, I'll tell you that. Yo, how did you get boogers on my pizza? Well, I told you I was sick, boss. Well, we can't have that. I'm gonna call the doctor because I can't have you sneezing on my food. Come on, sit right here and don't say a word. I don't want to hear a peep out of you. Hey, you call a doctor? Yes, I did. Chef Booger Nose here. Ouch. Yeah, he's sneezing on my pizza. I have a pizza in there that's covered in boogers. I wouldn't eat a booger pizza. I know, right? I shouldn't have to eat a booger pizza. He's my chef. He shouldn't sneeze on my food. So I need you to heal him so he can make some food for me, right? now I mean I can give him some medicine but it's gonna take like three or four days before he actually feels better that's not good enough you are a very unreasonable man look I know you guys have the cure for cancer and you don't want to give it to the public because you know that you're making a buttload of money off the treatment who told you that oh I have Google damn yeah so go ahead and give him a magical pill that I know you doctors have so he can get better and make me some food okay look you got me alright I do have this magical pill right here that'll make him feel better in about an hour or so but I gotta warn you this pill has some pretty crazy side effects I'm talking stuff that you can't even imagine things that you've never seen before one guy who took this pill grew a tail a rattlesnake tail. So now, whenever he goes to buffets, he rattles. And people in the buffet are looking at the floor for rattlesnakes. But no, it's the guy in front of him with the tail. And then another person who took this pill, his lungs exploded. He just took one breath of air after taking this pill and his lungs popped like balloons. And then somebody else who took this pill scratched his own eyes out because he thought his eyes were scratch and sniff stickers. Update, they were not scratch and sniff stickers. They were his eyeballs. So is he taking the pill? I'm not taking that pill. Boss? Oh, yes, you is. Now shut the hell up before I snap your neck like a twig. Great. So how are we getting them to take the pill? Like roll it up into a piece of cheese? Maybe some bologna? I mean, that's what I do with my kids every morning. You know, the school calls and they say that my kids are drooling on the desk. I say, good. Praise me. I'm like a god. I can change what people do with stuff like this. One pill, you're out. Two pills, you're done. You want to be a llama? I can turn you into a llama. I'm Yzma over here. Pull the lever, crunk. Wrong lever, that's me. All right, open up his mouth so I can put the pill in there. All right, open up your mouth, Chef Pee Pee. Mm -mm. Open up your mouth, Chef Pee Pee. Uh, Kobe. Ooh, nice shot. Now swallow. Mm -mm. Swallow! Yeah, I had the same problem with my ex-wife. All right, if you guys need anything, call me. Okay, dog, thanks. Did you swallow? Ooh, you better swallow. Ooh. Oh, man, I feel better already. That pill must have actually worked. Oh, glad to hear it, Chef Pee Pee. Now make me another pizza. And don't 
put boogers in it this time. I'm not gonna put boogers in it, boss. God. All right, now I gotta make another pizza. Oh, gosh. Oh, I really got to pee. Oh, man, I really have to pee. Oh, let me get my pee pee out. All right, let's get the business. Oh. Oh, oh man. Now one shake, two shakes, three shakes. Oh, no, I'm just playing with myself. Let me stop. <laughs> all right, all right. Now let me flush the toilet. Oh, oh my God. Is that peas? Did I just pee? Hey, you called? You said it was an emergency. Yes, it's an emergency! Look! Man, you must really hate peas. You could have just thrown them in the trash. It's a waste of peas. No, I don't hate peas! Look, I just peed peas! Wait, you peed these peas? Yes, I peed those peas! You peed those peas? Yes, I peed those peas! Okay, so let me get this straight. Chef Pee Pee Peas Peas? Oh, yes, I peed peas! That's hilarious. It's not hilarious! It actually hurt! Well, come on, you could end world hunger. I don't care about world hunger. Look, I need you to fix this. Well, that's kind of selfish, but look, this is probably just a side effect from the medicine I gave you earlier. It's not a problem. Oh, well, can you fix it, please? Yeah, it, it's an easy fix. I'll just give you a new medicine that'll reverse it. Uh, but first, I gotta take a urine sample, so, so just hold on. A uh, urine sample? I gotta get my spoon here. <laughs> what? Mm, just like Mama used to make. What the hell? Okay, I got you another purple pill, and I found this one under the seat of my car, and I'm pretty sure that it's gonna get you to stop peeing peas. You promise, doctor? Yeah. Was that a yes or a no? Yeah, uh huh. Uh, okay. Just, just, just take the pill. Well, well hand it to me. Uh, 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 uh. You have to eat it out of my hand like a giraffe. Uh, what? What? Just do it. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, there you go. There you go. Oh, oh, good girl. All right, now go pee so we can see what happens. Oh, don't okay. care. All right, let's try this one more time. Take my pee pee out and then get down to business. Ah. Ooh. Oh man, that was good. Alright, let me flush the toilet. What? What the hell? Did I just pee the letter P? Oh no, no, no! Doctor! Doctor, doctor, come look! What happened? Did you pee pee? No, I didn't pee pee. I pee peas. But again? No, 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 not those peas. Look, look, just come and look. Okay. Look, 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 I pee peas. Oh, you peed peas. See, I thought you meant peas like the vegetable pea. But no, you mean these peas, like the letter P. Yes, like the letter P. I peed these peas. Look, and I don't want to pee any peas unless it's pee coming out of my pee pee. Oh, well, I mean, of course you want to have pee coming out of your pee pee, not peas or, or peas. But I mean, if you had to pick between these peas or these peas, which peas would you pick? Because I'd pick these peas, not, not those peas. Because those peas could be D's if they swung around the wrong way. Yeah, and uh, Chef Pee Pee Pee's D's wouldn't be all that funny. Unless it was Chef Pee Pee Pee's D's nuts, in which case it'd be kind of funny, but not as funny as Chef Pee Pee Pee's peas. Or peas. Oh, shut the hell up! Look, are you gonna help me or not? I need to get fixed! It's fine, it's fine. I, I can just give you a different medicine, it'll be, it'll be okay. Just follow me. Okay, okay. Okay, no more pee and peas or pee and peas. You're gonna pee pee after taking this pill. Isn't that the same pill I've been taking? Yes, but third time's the charm, because three is the magic number. Okay, open your mouth so I can give you this pill. Oh, uh, All right, there you go. Now go pee. Okay. All right, let me try this again. Come on, God, please let me pee pee and not pee peas or peas. <sighs> Man, that was good. Wait, is that peas, peas, peas? Ah! Doctor, come here right now! <gasps> did you do it? Did, did the big boy go pee pee in the potty? Yes, big boy went pee pee in the potty, but it's a whole lot of pee pee going on in the toilet. Come here! Okay. Look, look, look! Okay, this is just getting silly. Are those peas peeing peas? So, Chef Pee Pee, peas, peas, peeing peas. And are those PNGs? Uh, uh, no, they're JPEGs, never mind. Look, I shouldn't be peeing peas, or even have peas peeing peas! Look, I just want to pee pee out of my pee pee! Yeah, you should be peeing pee out of your pee pee. You shouldn't be peeing peas peas, or peas peeing peas, just pee. Or urine, so it doesn't get confusing. Well, can you fix it? 
Uh, yeah, I got something for this. Come on. Okay. All right. No more screwing around. No more pee and vegetables. No more pee and lettuce. And no more pee and lettuce pee and vegetables. This pill is going to make you pee urine. And there's nothing funny about urine. I'm not going to take that pill. It's the same pill I've been taking. I know, but it's like the fourth one. So eventually, one of these pills is going to reverse everything that's been happening to you. You can't reverse something by doing the same thing that caused it. Oh, yeah? What about a light switch, huh? You flip it to turn it on, and you flip it to turn it off. You do the same thing both times, all right? And, and what about a TV remote, huh? You, huh? You, pu you push the power button to turn it on, and you push the same power button to turn it off. I bet you didn't think about that, dumbass. I'll take your pills, stupid. Uh, there you go. All right, now go piss. Okay. All right, God, let's do this. Pull my pee pee out. Now let's pee some pee. Oh, oh man. Wait, is that me? Pee 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 pee. So I looked him right in his face and I said, take your pills, stupid. It was so cool. Doctor, come look! It reversed it, didn't it? No, come here! Look! Okay, now that is hilarious. All right, let me get this straight. Chef Pee Pee, peas, pee pee, peeing peas, peeing peas? Yes. Yeah, see, that's not what we want. We're just adding peas to a whole pee problem. See, first you were peeing peas, then you were peeing peas, then you were peeing peas, peeing peas, and now you're peeing pee pee, peeing peas, peeing peas. And that is definitely a PNG. Well, can you just fix it? Uh, can you say please? <sighs> please? Thank you. But hold on, I have to sneeze. Achoo! Mm. Mm. Now I smell cheese. Mm. All right. Ugh. Do you feel a breeze? Oh, can you just fix it, damn it! All right, fine. Come on. Oh, God. All right, doctor. How are we finally going to fix this? I'm not taking another one of those pills. Come on, man. No, not at all. Please? Look, I already took like five of them. Okay, right. You took five of them. So what's the worst that could happen? I mean, look, there's only two things that could happen. Either you take this pill and you pee pee, or you take this pill and you pee another hilarious sentence. Let's pray to God it's the second one. Look, I'm going to take this stupid pill, but if it doesn't work, I swear to God, I'm going to sue your ass. Get in line. <laughs> there you go. All right. Let's try it. Listen, God, if I don't pee pee, I'm going to kill myself. All right, let's go. Wait, did I just pee pee? Is that pee pee? Oh my God, did I just pee pee? Oh my God, did you pee pee? I pee pee. You pee pee? Yes, I pee pee. Wait, wait, wait. Chef pee 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 pee? Yes, I. Time for dinner! What's for dinner, Danny? Uh... Don't you say it! Green beans? Wrong answer, Danny! Uh, Jeffy, why'd you shoot me in the face with a tennis ball blaster? Cause I don't wanna eat your crappy food! Then what do you wanna eat, Jeffy? Uh, A sandwich! Okay, then let's go get you a stupid sandwich. Gooch! Welcome to Foot Long Bangers! What kind of sandwich you want, baby? Uh, can I get a foot long banger with cheese? Okay, you want some ham? Yes, I would like ham. Okay, what about some turkey? Yeah, I'll take some turkey. Well, what about some bacon? Yeah, I'll take some bacon. And what about some roast beef? Yeah, I'll take some roast beef. Okay, well, why don't you check between my legs then? <laughs> what, what? Freeze, everyone on the ground now! Ah, Jeffy, run! Put the money in the bag. Ah! Oh, I, I didn't mean to do that. Sorry. All right, that's all the money. Oh, sorry for the, the, the tennis ball to the face. Oh my god, Jeffy, we just saw a robbery happen. We just saw a robbery. But I didn't get my sandwich. Jeffy, forget about your sandwich. We just saw someone rob a store. What do we do? Do we call the cops? We go back and get my sandwich. Jeffy, shut up about your stupid sandwich. Who's that? Oh, oh, hold on, Jeffy. Oh, let me see who that is. Uh, hello? What? The cops! Thank God you're here! I was just about to call you! Why? To turn yourself in? What, turn myself in? No, what? Well, you're under arrest. Under arrest for what? For robbing a sandwich shop. Well, I, I didn't rob a sandwich shop! Oh, yeah? Well, we found your hat at the scene of the crime. My hat? Oh, okay. Well, I was at the sandwich shop, and it must have fallen off when I ran away. Yeah, you were running away because you just robbed the sandwich shop. Well, no, no, I ran away because the robber came in, and he robbed the sandwich shop. Okay, what'd the robber look like then? Well, he, had a, he had a ski mask on. But really? Like in a cartoon? Yeah. Oh, 
what, did he have like a big bag with a money sign on it too? Yeah, yeah, he did. Come on, what do you think, I was born yesterday? Because I wasn't. I'm 42. Okay, obviously you don't look like you were born yesterday. Owie, okay, well you look old too. Okay, boomer. Well, well, okay, look, I didn't rob a sandwich shop. I was there with my son buying a sandwich, and my son's upstairs right now. L let's go ask my son. He, he will vouch for me. I did not rob a sandwich shop. All right. All right, officer, there's my son who was with me during the robbery. Hey, Daddy. I just opened up my piggy bank. Look at all his money. And there's the money you stole. What? No, that's his piggy bank money. That's not the kind of money you keep in a piggy bank. What kind of choice was he doing that he has that kind of money? Well, I pretend to be a girl online and I sell pictures of my feet to weirdos. Oh, man, I wish I had feet. Wait, wait, is that a tennis ball blaster? Yeah. Well, that's exactly what was used in the robbery. Oh, come on. Everybody has a tennis ball blaster. Well, I don't. Well, you're just a square. Well, okay. What is it? Make fun of me, Day? Why do you hate me so much? God. Well, be because you're accusing me of a robbery that I didn't commit. Well, look what I have to work with. We found your hat at the scene of the crime. You have a whole bunch of money that's missing. And here's a tennis ball blaster that was used in the robbery. Okay, but that's just all a coincidence. Yeah, okay, whatever. How about we go back to the scene of the crime and see if that jogs your memory? Okay, fine. My son wants a sandwich anyway, so Jeffy, just stay here. All right, buddy. All right, here we are at the scene of the crime. Look familiar? Welcome to Foot Long Bang! Hold on, man, just one minute. Of course it looks familiar. I was just here. Robbing the place? No, I was ordering a sandwich. Well, then where's the sandwich? She never had time to make it because the robber came in. Wh which was you, because you were the robber. Well, no, no, I was just ordering a sandwich. All right, I'm going to ask the cashier if she recognizes you. Uh, of course she's going to recognize me. I was just here. Ma'am, have you ever seen this man before? Yeah, he was the last person I saw before I got knocked out by a tennis box. Oh, really? Yeah, because I was here ordering a sandwich. Now, ma'am, what was the last thing he said to you before he knocked you out with a tennis ball? He was trying to get the roast beef that's between my legs. Well, no, I wasn't. Oh, this doesn't look too good for you, buddy. What, just, just check the cameras. The cameras don't work. They're purely for decoration. Oh, what? I've never heard of that before. Okay, look, you're under arrest because we have a witness here that says you were here on the day of the robbery and we found your hat at the scene of the crime. Well, just, just check for fingerprints. You're wearing gloves. Oh, come on. You're coming with me. No, tell, tell the truth. All right, say bye to your son. All right, Jeffy, apparently I'm going to jail for armed robbery. How long are you going to be gone for, Danny? You're facing 35 to life. Life? Well, no one, no one, you know, went to sleep forever. Well, that's the law. Apparently I'm going to jail for 35 years, probably. Well, what if I get hungry? There's Lunchables in the fridge. But what if I want wings? Just use your piggy bank money. Can I call my lawyer? You can meet him at the jail. Come on. <sighs> All right, Goodman. Tell it to me straight. Well, Mario, I reviewed your case. And? And you are so effed. What do you mean? The prosecution's going to have a field day with you, Mario. They have so much evidence. What do they have? They have your hat at the scene of the crime, and they have witness testimony from the employee saying that you were the last person she saw before she blacked out. Oh, look, I know it looks like I did it, but I didn't do it. Well, if it looks like poop and smells like poop, then what is it, Mario? Poop? Ding, ding, ding! Your poop, Mario. But, but I was just there buying a sandwich. Well, Mario, do you have an alibi? Where were you during the crime? I was at the restaurant. Shut up. I want you to shut that dirty little mouth. I never want to hear you say that again, Mario. But I was at the restaurant. Shut up. You were on the beach in the Bahamas drinking fruity drinks from some dude named Pepito. No, no, I wasn't. That's a lie. I know, Mario, but if you want to win this, you have to lie. You have to lie, lie, lie. And once you're done lying, you have to lie some more, and then you're going to tell one more lie with a cherry on top. But, but I want to tell the truth. Okay, if you want to tell the truth, Mario, then do you just want to take the max sentence? Life! Life, Mario! Or do you want to take the plea deal? What, what's the plea deal? Fifteen years. Well, Fifteen years? Yeah, or, well, seven and a half with good behavior. I don't want the plea deal. I just want to tell the truth, and I want to be found innocent. <sighs> All right, Mario. Let me see what I can do. Okay, I don't, I don't want to take the plea deal. I got it, Mario. Just let me see what I can do. Come on. Shut up, Mario. Let me do all the talking. Okay. All rise for the Honorable Judge Strongbottom. Order! Order! Court is now in session. Mario, you are being charged with armed robbery. How do you plead? Your Honor, we would like to take the plea deal. What? Perfect! Open and shut! Mario, you are hereby sentenced to 15 years in federal prison. Well, that was nice. Let's break for an early lunch. I didn't want to take the plea deal. They had us in a quarter, Mario. I had no other option. All right, you're coming with me. You didn't even try. I don't want to go to jail for 15 years. Seven and a half with good behavior, so be good. Oh. Oh, 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 take that diaper. Oh, 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 oh. Let's just look at that sad face. How am I going to tell him? Okay, I can do this. Come on. Hey there, champ. There's uh, something I need to talk to you about. What's going on? Well, uh, it's about your daddy. He's, uh, he's gonna be in jail for a long time. 
freaking rip pouring out for my daddy, my D A double D Y. Hope he doesn't drop that show. Right. Well, since he's not gonna be here, uh, we're gonna have to put you in a foster home. For imaginary friends? No, no, not like the TV show. This is a foster home for very real and sad children. Well, why can't I stay here? Well, you're just a kid. You can't live here by yourself while your dad's in jail. Well, my dad didn't do anything. I was there the whole time. Well, it's too late for that, kid. He's already in jail. Well, I'm gonna get my dad out of jail. I'm gonna prove he's innocent. Well, how are you gonna do that, champ? You gonna get a spoon and dig a tunnel under the prison like in a movie or something? No, I'm Detective Jeffy. Dun, dun, dun. Take me to the scene of the crime. Oh, okay. I got nothing better to do. Come on. All right, kid, here we are back at the scene of the crime, but my men sweeped all over this place, so I don't know what you're hoping to find. There's no evidence here. Never question, Detective Jeffy. <laughs> What's that boy? You found a clue? Oh, I'm just gonna take a couple fives and a couple ones. Man, his methods are unusual, but he's the best detective we have. <gasps> What's this? What? That's a hair. What? How did we miss that? I'm one step closer to freeing my daddy. Now I gotta track it. <laughs> Tastes like clown. Follow me. All right, kids, so why are you setting up a birthday party for yourself? Because we found clown hair at the scene of the crime. And if you set up a birthday party, a clown will come because clowns always go to birthday parties. Well, why do we need a clown to come when you're already here? Oh, 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 ooh, ooh, eh, oh, you want me to go get my doctor outfit on so I can treat that burn? Woo, ha <laughs> yeah. All right, but seriously though, what is, what is the plan? Or we set up a birthday party and the clown will come. So we just gotta sit here until the clown comes. Oh, oh, I think that's him at the door. Let me go see. Hello? Hey, kid. I heard there was a party, so I thought you needed a clown. So I came over and I brought my tennis ball blaster so I can do tricks. So, you gonna let me in? Yeah, sure. Come on in. All right. All right, here's the clown. No, 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 no. Which one of you kids is the birthday boy? Uh, I guess that'd be him. Oh, I, I didn't mean to do that. I accidentally did that to some woman's face earlier. Hmm. Sorry for making a mess. You guys got any napkins? I'll just use my ski mask I used earlier. Hmm. So how are you guys gonna pay me today? I only accept cash. Hmm. What's my hair doing on the table? Must be falling out. Didn't know I was getting that old. <laughs> Can we hurry up and cut this cake? I'm starving. You really work up an appetite after you rob a sandwich shop. Hmm? Now, wait a minute. Did you rob a sandwich shop earlier? Uh, no. Okay, you were just saying a lot of weird stuff, but I'm sorry for accusing you. Where were you earlier today? I was robbing a sandwich shop. Oh, I knew it! Oh, that's it. You're under arrest, screwball. Oh, rats. Nice job, kid. You're a natural. All right, Mario, you're free to go. Wait, what happened? Well, you should thank your son, Detective Jeffy. He's a real Sherlock Holmes. Jeffy, what'd you do? Daddy, I got that long song that Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. What? She sells seashells by the seashore, you know. But, but what happened? Daddy, how much wood could a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? I, I don't know what happened. Irish wristwatch, you know, rubber baby buggy bumpers. But what happened? Daddy, I'll tell you. A skunk sat on a stump and thunk the stump stunk, but the stump thunk the skunk stunk. What? Exactly, exactly. Greek grapes. Oh, no more no more tongue twisters. What is happening? It was a clown, okay? Which means it was you, because you're a clown. Oh, 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 I got him. Oh, oh, yeah, if you feel like a pimp, go and dust your shoulders off. Oh, uh, oh, uh, look what I'm doing. Oh, uh, because I'm a pimp. Uh, eh. Oh, I'm going to go get my doctor outfit. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, oh, oh. Alright, alright. So I can treat that burn! Oh, they're gone. Well, oh, man, I put on the doctor outfit and everything, because, you know, it's funny, because doctors treat burns. And... Well, I thought it was funny. I mean, it would have been so funny if you would have heard it. Oh, you're leaving already? Oh, yeah, see you later, man. Oh, see you later. Oh, wait, 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 so I can treat that burn! <laughs> oh, man, I'm so sick. <laughs> uh, 
No, Jeffy, stop it. Stop it, Jeffy. I'm sick. I'm sick, Jeffy. Don't stop. No, no, no. Stop it, Jeffy. Stop it. Stop it. your hat, dang. Stop it, Jeffy. Give me my hat back. Hi, Mario. Where have you been? Yeah, you've been gone for like a year. I got stuck at a stop sign, Mario. It wouldn't turn green. Because stop signs don't turn green. Yeah, that's what the cop told me. Danny, I think she moved to Baltimore. Oh, that's silly, Jeffy. Well, you've been gone for like a year, but I don't really care. I, I, I'm sick. Can you just help take care of me? Oh, I'm so sorry, Mario. Let me check to see if you have a fever. Oh my gosh, Mario, you're burning up. I'll go to the store and get you some medicine. No! You're not allowed to leave. Yeah, you might leave and go to Baltimore again or something. No, 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 every time you leave, you leave for like a year. You're going to stay right here, okay? You're not leaving. You're not going anywhere. Okay, Mario, but let me at least call a doctor, okay? All right, you're going to call a doctor right here. You're not going to move. Just pull out your phone and call a doctor. Okay. <coughs> hey there. Somebody call a doctor. Oh, my gosh. You look horrible. Oh, okay. Now I'm sick and my feelings are hurt. You know, you're not much to look at either. You know, if you were one of the only two girls left on earth i'd say show me the other one anyway mario is really sick <laughs> can't you help him oh he's sick well what about me i'm sick nobody seems to care about me you know who does the doctor call when he gets sick nobody ever seems to care about me or my feelings and that apple a day thing that's bull crap i've been eating an apple every single day and i still got sick okay well you know what you shouldn't have became a doctor if you're just gonna whine and complain every time someone gets sick all right <laughs> You know what? Your game suck and I'm not helping you. Well, hey, I need a doctor. Oh. <laughs> what are we going to do? Oh. Poor Mario, why don't I make you some soup? Does it involve you having to leave the house? No. Okay, then great. Go make me some soup. Just don't leave for a year. Okay. <laughs> oh, Jeffy. I'm going to... I'm going to... Mushy, Daddy. Okay, Mario. Here's your alphabet soup. Alphabet soup. And there's a special message in there just for you. Special message. Get well soon, Daddy. Oh, I get what you're trying to do. You haven't been here for a year, so you're trying to get freaky. I mean, I'm sick, but I can still take off my gloves. Jeffy wrote it for you. What? Yeah, Daddy. I spelled it for you. And I also have your spoon right here in my gooch. Ew. Yeah, let me get it for you. No, no, no. <clears throat> Oh, yeah, Daddy, get a whiff of that. No, get away from me, Jeffy. I don't, want, I don't want the stupid spoon. Throw it away. Daddy, here comes your train. No, 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 no. The train's derailed. Put it back. Okay, Daddy. I'll put it back. Wait, no, no, no. <clears throat> Uh, okay, okay, you know what? I'm not really in the mood for soup. But Mario, it will make you feel better. No, it's fine. I'll just sit here and die. At least let me get you some medicine. Okay, you can get me some medicine. Just don't leave the house. Okay, bye. What? Oh. <sighs> All right, Mario. Here's your medicine. And I brought you some cough drops, too. Okay, first of all, I'm not going to take the cough drops because I feel like I'm choking on them when I'm sucking on them. And I'm not going to take the NyQuil because it tastes horrible. And I don't want to go to sleep. You know what, Mario? You're really mean when you're sick, and I'm dead trying to take care of you! Okay, if you're gonna cry, can you, like, go in another room? Because I have a headache, and I don't feel good. <laughs> All right, Daddy. I'm Dr. Jeffy, and I'll be taking care of you this evening. Aw, Jeffy, you're so cute wanting to play doctor and take care of your daddy. It's so sweet. Um, excuse me, ma'am? I did 12 years of medical school at Johns Hopkins. I will not have you talk down to me. Now, if you'll excuse me... I need to evaluate my patient. Oh, so cute playing dress up. All right, sir. I have your patient information here. I just need to go through and make sure it's correct, okay? No, I don't have time for this. I'm feeling sick. All right. According to your chart, we have that your name is Daddy. Yeah, sure, it's Daddy. And your date of birth is really, really old. Okay, I'm not that old. Well, you are getting older, Mario. <sighs> and we also have that your weight is fat. I'm not fat. You could go on a diet. <sighs> and we also have that your height is short. <laughs> I, I'm not that short. Well, you're not the tallest person either, Mario. <sighs> and then your temperature is hot AF. Well, I am burning up. I have a fever. All right. And your injury is bald. <laughs> That's not an injury. And, and I'm not bald. My hairline's just pushed back. <laughs> you're getting bald, Mario. No, it's my hairline. It's not that bad anymore. <sighs> and we also have that you have a rash on your pee pee and it burns when you pee. What? <gasps> Mario, what have you been doing? while I was away. Well, definitely not you. I mean, unless you can give yourself a hand burn. I, that's the only thing I could have did. Well, I'm prescribing some soothing cream for your wiener, Daddy. I don't need it. I don't need any lotion. I don't need anything. I'm sick. I have the flu. Oh, <gasps> you have the flu, Daddy? I think we need to operate. What, no, we don't, we don't need to operate. I just need you guys to leave me alone so I can take a nap. 
<laughs> All right, Daddy, I need to check your vitals before we operate. Aw, that's so cute in your little outfit. Jeffy, you look ridiculous. You look stupid. Mario. Daddy, Mommy's right. You got your grumpy pants on. No, I don't have my grumpy pants on. I have my sick pants on. I don't want people to bother me. Well, I need to listen to your butt. Well, no, you're not going to listen to my butt. Mario, play along. He's being creative. He could be a doctor one day. He's not going to be a doctor one day because he's stupid. Mario. Mm -hmm. Oh, Jeffy, don't start crying. Look what you did, Mario. Isn't that just great? You're making everybody cry. Well, he's, I, I just didn't think he was going to be a doctor one day. And everyone needs to shut up. Okay, fine, fine, okay, you wanna listen to my butt? Look, my butt's right here, here's my butt, listen to it, stick up your ears. No, I don't wanna listen to your butt no more, Daddy, it stinks. It doesn't stink, listen to my butt, right here. No, Daddy, I don't no, like it. Here, beats by my butt, listen to it. <gasps> daddy, you gotta poop in your butt, I, don't I have, think we need to operate. I don't wanna poop in my butt, you don't need to operate on my butt. No, it, Daddy, we gotta operate, I gotta scrape it out. You're not Bend gonna, over, give me a you're not gonna scrape it out, Daddy. <laughs> Look, no, more, no butt stuff, Look, I don't want medicine, I don't want operation, I don't need you to be a doctor, I don't need a doctor, I just wanna lay down and rest, you know, just stop bothering. Me. Oh, oh, Mario, Mario, I have an idea! What? My great-grandmother had this old family recipe, and I know it'll make you feel better! Okay, well then go get it. Okay. <sighs> okay, here's a special cup I got for you. It has an M on it for Mario! Or monkey. And the secret recipe is a cup of warm water and a lemon. Or moose. What? A whole lemon? Yes, Mario. I'm supposed to drink that? Yes, Mario. How am I supposed to drink it? Yes, Mario. I would like to make a suggestion to put something in the cup in my most professional doctor opinion. No, Jeffy, it's fine. The recipe is fine. I would like to put my Band-Aid that's been on my leg for two weeks in the cup. Jeffy, no. Jeffy, yes. Wait, Jeffy, if you stick your Band-Aid in the drink, I'm not going to... Okay, now I'm not going to drink it because there's a Band-Aid in it. And I also want to put my Lucky Penny in there. No, if, no Jeffy. If you, okay, I'm definitely not drinking it because now there's a Band-Aid and a Penny in it. And I also want to put a blue thumbtack. Oh, no. Jeffy, it, no. Okay, it doesn't matter the color. It's, still, it's a thumbtack. I'm not going to drink it. And a Nerf dart. Okay, that, that's stupid. Okay, I'm not. I'm definitely not drinking it. You know what? This is all stupid. I don't need... Hold on. What? Last but not least... I need to hock a loogie in it. Jeffy! <sighs> no, 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 don't, don't you dare spit in this drink. Stop it. You're not spitting in the drink, Jeffy. Oh, oh no, 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 stop. Okay, okay, uh, you know what? I, no, no. Okay, you know what? You just spit in the drink, and there's so much stuff in there, I don't even know what it is, so I'm just not gonna drink it. Mario, you're never gonna get better. Yeah, with you two, I'm never gonna get better. With you taking care of me being a stupid, dumb doctor, and for you just buying me a bunch of random stuff, no crying. <laughs> Okay, look at the crying. Okay, okay, you, you know what? No, 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 no spill your voice. Jay, stop it! Stop it! Stop it! I wish I had the old doctor back. I wish I had the old doctor. Hey there, somebody call a doctor? Oh, thank God you're here, doctor. They won't stop screaming and crying in my ear, and I'm so sick. Yeah, I just wanted to come and apologize for how I was acting earlier. You know, I'm sick, and I got all these jobs, so I gotta be a doctor and a cop and a firefighter all while being sick, and there's no one there to take care of me. Then I gotta go home to my ugly wife so she can nag in my ear all day, and don't even get me started on her snoring. Oh, well, I'm sorry to hear about that, doctor, but I've been so sick. I keep coughing <laughs> and sneezing, and I have the worst headache ever. Well, honestly, I didn't have a headache until they start screaming in my ear. Well, maybe you shouldn't be so grumpy, Mario. Well, maybe you should cut some of the hair around your ears so you can hear me and understand that all I'm doing is trying to not be annoyed all day. All right, Daddy, it's time for your shot. Wait, who's this chump? I'm Dr. Jeffy. Oh, no, you're not. I'm the only doctor in this city, and this town ain't big enough for the two of us. Where'd you even get your degree? I did 15 years at Johns Hopkins. Oh, yeah? Well, I did six months at community college, so take that. Um... How are you even a doctor? And where have you been for the last year? Miss, I'm gonna move to Baltimore. I don't want to hear a word out of you. All right, guys, I'm sick. Can we, like, focus more on me? And you, take that doctor outfit off now. How about you save some jobs for the rest of us? Well, how about you make me? How about we throw hands? All right, doctor fight. <laughs> take my medical oh, excellence. Oh, stop, <laughs> settle down. Stop it right now. Stop it. Oh, oh my gosh. He drank his NyQuil! Yeah, he's out like a light. I wouldn't drink that. That's gross. Oh, we should probably let Mario get some sleep. Yeah, he'll probably feel better when he wakes up. But I don't want to see you here again! Oh 
Mario, I'm so glad you're feeling better. Yeah, I'm sorry for being rude earlier. It's just, I don't like being sick. And also, you were gone for a year, so I was annoyed at that. I know. I'm sorry, Mario. Well, I'm feeling a lot better now. Rawr! Since you're feeling better, Daddy, Mr. Shark's going to eat your hat. Well, no, 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 no. I hope he doesn't eat my hat. Hey, Daddy, can we have pizza for dinner? No, Jeffy. Why not? Jeffy, use your inside voice. This is my inside voice. No, it's not. You use your inside voice. Jeffy, I'm only yelling because you're yelling. I'm only yelling because you said we can't have pizza for dinner. Well, I'm the adult, so I make the rules. Well, your rules suck. Well, Jeffy, don't say the S word. The S word? Suck? Yeah. Oh, I thought the S word was nope. Chicago. And I hear they have good pizza there, and that's what I want for dinner. Well, well Jeffy, Chicago starts with a C, and you shouldn't say the C word either. Oh, I thought the C word was Kentucky. And they have fried chicken there, which is what I don't want for dinner. I want pizza. Well, well, Jeffy, Kentucky starts with a K. Oh, it starts with a K? I thought knife started with a K. Jeffy, that, that's pronounced knife. Um, no, it's pronounced knife. See, this is the word knife right here. See, it has a K right there. Well, Jeffy, it's pronounced knife. No, it's not. There's a K, so you pronounce it knife. Well, Jeffy, the K is silent. You, you want to know what's not silent? What? My inside, boys, because I want pizza for dinner. All right, Jeffy, look, I'm going to go in the kitchen and see if I can find pizza, okay? And if you don't find pizza, then you're going to hear more of my inside voice, because I want pizza. All right, Jeffy, I'll go find pizza. Good. I'm going to go talk to Junior. Tell him we're having pizza for dinner. <sighs> okay, I'm finally done inflating my big inflatable airplane. I'm so lightheaded. Hey, Junior, guess what we're having for dinner? Because of me. What? Pizza. Oh, yeah, I love pizza. We're having pizza for dinner because of Jeffy. How'd you get that to happen? Well, Junior, I used my manners. I walked up to my daddy and I said, Father, may we please have pizza for supper? And he said, No, Jeffy. And I said, Catch these hands. Hold my weed, daddy. And so we started throwing hands. And long story short, we're having pizza for dinner. Oh, my God, I love pizza. Well, well you want to go throw this big inflatable airplane around? Yep. All right, let's go do it. <laughs> What's up, Mario? Oh, hey, Bowser. What'd you get to eat? Homemade cheeseburger and fries. Chef Pee Pee went all out. Oh, well, I'm gonna see if Chef Pee Pee can make me some pizza. Oh, cool. Hey, quick question. Are you still jealous about my first place Mario Kart trophy? No, I'm not jealous about it, Bowser. That was years ago. Yeah, you're still jealous. <laughs> it's a prized possession. Maybe one day you'll get a first place trophy. I have plenty of those. Yeah, not this one. <laughs> I'm gonna go up to my room. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Junior, you ready to send it? Yep, runway 69 is ready for landing. 69er, prepare for both of us to be satisfied. <laughs> oh no, my dad's trophy! Houston, we have a problem. But that's space, Jeffy, not airlines. Boop, boop, pull up. Boop, boop, pull up. Yeah, that's airlines. <laughs> Oh no, my dad loved this trophy. Obviously not, because he had it sitting on an airport runway. Yeah, we were cleared for landing. It was kind of irresponsible. What was that noise? That sounds like my trophy. Uh, Ron, Jeffy, my dad's coming. What was that noise? <laughs> my trophy. Who would do such a thing? What was that noise? Huh, you. I knew you were jealous of my trophy. I didn't do this. Then who did? Someone probably threw that big inflatable airplane at it. Yeah, you, because you were jealous. Well, no, I don't even know where to get a big inflatable airplane like that at. I don't even know where that came from. Probably online. You probably went to Amazon Prime and it had it shipped here. I don't know if you have a membership or not. Well, look, I, I did not do that. I don't know what happened. Then who did? Well, Okay, well, maybe someone broke into the house and threw that plane at your trophy. Broke into the house, brought an inflatable plane, and threw it at my trophy? Yeah, maybe they were trying to distract you so they could steal your TV or something. Distract me for my TV? Wait, that does sound realistic. You know what? I have to put up some cameras because this, this world is getting dangerous. Well, no, 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 Bowser, obviously I'm lying. Maybe one of our kids threw it. No one broke in the house and threw a plane at your trophy. Look, look, look. Somebody's trying to steal my TV. I got to get some cameras now, Mario. Well, well, look, I'm going to tell my son to stay inside for the rest of his life. You do the same for your son, okay? Okay? Because this world is too dangerous. Uh, oh. Unless you just want to admit that you broke it. But I, I did not break it. I'm going to go tell my son to stay inside forever, too. Hmm, exactly. Oh, man, Jeffy. I can't believe we broke my dad's trophy. Do you think he noticed? No. Junior! Yes. Uh, Junior! Oh, uh, uh, Don't forget to use your manners, Junior. What is the matter, Father? Look, Junior, I want you to stay in the house for the rest of your life. But why? Because somebody broke in and threw an inflatable plane and broke my trophy. Uh, well, what if hypothetically me and Jeffy did it? 
Oh, I would just send you back to military school. Well, we definitely didn't do that, did we, Jeff? We didn't do that. Nope. Mm -mm. Well, I'm glad to hear it. Look, Junior, it's a dangerous world out there. I just don't want you to go outside ever again. I'm going to tell Chef Pee Pee to let me know if you ever do so you can go to military school, okay? Well, that sucks. Hey, hey, hey. Don't use the F word. You know what? Stand in the corner. Yes, sir. Mm-hmm. <sighs> Jeffy, I need to talk to you. What is the matter, Father? You're not allowed to go outside ever again. That's fair. But while we're making up these BS rules, you're not allowed to talk ever again. Jeffy, I'm being serious. Me too, stop talking. Jeffy, I can talk. Shut up. Jeffy, I am allowed. Day, day, hush. I'm allowed to talk. Shut up. Jeffy, I can talk. No, you're not. Stop talking. Well, then you're not allowed to talk. Okay, Jeffy, we can talk. Dang, shut your mouth. Jeffy, I can talk. Stop talking! Okay, then you can't go outside. Okay, that's fine, so shut up. Okay, good, we, we, make it, we got it. Stop make... talking, Dad, I don't understand why you keep talking. Oh, we have an agreement. Shut your mouth. Just don't go outside. Hush. <sighs> there, the security camera set up. Now we'll know if anyone's trying to break in and steal my television. I don't think anybody wants your television, Bowser. Oh, I know they do. I want to watch my Charlie, though. They can have it. <laughs> hey, Junior, how long are you in your corner for? I don't know. Hmm. Well, why don't you just leave? I can't. Sure you can. All you gotta do is just get up and walk away. Hey, uh, hey, Junior? What? Joe Shep huh, is calling. Joseph's calling? Okay, I have to answer. I have to leave the corner and answer it. Mm -hmm. Uh, hello? What's up, dude? What's up, Joseph? Say what's up, Jeffy. Shut up. Dude, hurry up and get to the playground. Underneath this slide, I got tacos and chalupas. What, tacos and chalupas? I love tacos and chalupas. I'll be right there. <sighs> What, dude? I'm not allowed to go, Joseph. Wait, why? My dad said I'm never allowed to leave the house again. Dude, just sneak out or something. Oh, okay, look, Joseph, I'm gonna go ask my dad for permission, and if he says yes, I'll come. Oh, dude, hurry up. The tacos and chalupas are gonna get cold. Okay, I'll be there no matter what. I'll be there soon. All right, Jeff, you have to sneak out the house. I can't go, Junior. Why not? Because I made a deal with my daddy that I won't leave the house if he doesn't talk anymore, and that's a pretty sick deal. But, like, come on. It's, choco it's tacos and chalupas. Hmm... But it's also my daddy not talking anymore because his voice is annoying. But it's tacos and chalupas under the slide. Hmm. All right, let's do it, Jay. All right, let's go. Let's sneak out. Oh, man, Jeffy, I can't believe we're sneaking out. I know. Our parents are so stupid. I know. They actually think that we're going to listen to them and not sneak out of the house. <laughs> what are you doing? Oh, nothing. All right, all right let's go be Joseph. All right. What's up, Joseph? What's up, dudes? Oh, you were able to sneak out the house? Well, our parents said no. But we said yes. Oh, ho, ho, that's sick. We'll help yourself to some tacos and chalupa. Man, Joseph, that's a lot of Taco Bell. I know. My cousin works in the drive-thru, so you know I'm hooked up. My butthole's about to be on fire tonight. Oh, do you have any hot or mild sauce? Oh, bro, I have some fire sauce. I'm about to poop all over the toilet seat tonight. Yeah! But I was going to do that anyway. Oh, man, I can't wait to poop in the bushes. I can't wait to clog the toilet and make Chevy be clean it. <laughs> Let's eat all these tacos. Yeah, dude, tacos. <laughs> oh, man, Joseph, these tacos taste amazing. Yeah, these tacos taste pee-pee. Well, I don't want to eat it if it tastes pee-pee. <laughs> Get it, guys, because it's pee-pee? Well, speaking of pee-pee, Chef Pee-pee's calling me. Oh, everyone, be quiet. I have to answer the phone. Okay, dude. Uh, hello? Oh, these are good tacos. Shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up. Junior, where are you? Uh, I'm in my room. In your room, huh? Yeah, I'm in my, I'm in my room, just laying in bed. Stop lying, Junior! I know you're not in your room! I'm in there right now! Well, are you sure you're checking the right room? I'm in the room right now, Junior! Uh, uh, well, uh, I'm sorry I lied. I'm on the roof. What? what, what? You, you know you're not supposed to leave the house, Junior! Well, Your dad said you can't leave the house, so get back inside! Oh, okay, I'll be back in like 30 minutes. Look, you have 10 seconds to get back in this house, or I'ma tell your daddy. <gasps> Joseph, oh, we gotta go. Jeffy, come on. Go, go, go. Oh, okay, dude. Okay, Jeffy. We have to get inside before my dad notices. I can't believe all this is happening just because we broke my dad's trophy. What are you waving at? Ah! What is that? Is that a security camera? I think so. Oh, no. Jeffy, we have to break that. My dad cannot hear what we just said. I'm on it, Junior. Yeah, break it. All right, Jeffy. I need you to break that security camera. All right, Junior. I'm gonna use my Fortnite pickaxe. All right, break it. All right, here we go. You ready? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, I, I think it's broken. All right, good work, Jeffy. Now let's get inside. All right. 
All right, Jeffy, we made it back inside the house and we didn't get caught. Junior, we were too smooth. There's no way we're gonna get caught. Well, well, well. Uh, Junior, where were you? Uh, me and Jeffy were playing hide and seek in the attic, which is still inside the house, so we didn't, we didn't go outside. Oh, really? Well, Chef PP showed me this video, and I am disappointed. Oh, man, Jeffy, I can't believe we're sneaking out. Uh, I know, our parents are so stupid. Stupid, I huh? I think we're gonna listen to them and not sneak out of the house. <laughs> What are you doing? Oh, nothing. All right. Oh, you were waving at the camera? Uh -huh. Okay, Jeffy. We have to get inside before my dad notices. I can't believe all this is happening just because we broke my dad's trophy. What are you waving at? Oh! What is that? Is that a security camera? I think uh, so. Oh, no. Jeffy. Dad. Break that. Dad, that's not me. No, no. Shush. I want to hear it. You're breaking. All right, Jeffy. I need you to break that security camera. All right, Junior. I'm going to use my Fortnite pickaxe. All right, break it. All right, here we go. The pickaxe, huh? Yeah. Nice. Uh, Junior, you know you're grounded, right? And you're going to military school. But no, Dad, that wasn't us. That was someone trying to frame us. Oh, don't lie to me, Junior. Uh, don't lie to me. You broke my trophy, and then you're going to break my camera, too? Well, I mean, uh, Tyler, I don't want to hear it. Technically, you. I didn't break the trophy. Jeffy did. Way to throw me under the bus, Junior. You know what, Junior? I'm just so mad. Go and stand in that corner right now. Okay. Mm -hmm. And while you're standing in the corner, I'm gonna get the number for the military school. I'm sorry you're standing in the corner, Junior. Uh, what's going on in here? Junior broke my trophy. But he broke your trophy? Excellent. <laughs> um, Danny, I don't think my friend getting in trouble is worth this hundred bucks, so you can have it back. Wait, Jeffy, stick to the plan. Wait, what plan? You better tell him the truth, Danny, before I do. Uh, uh, uh Jeffy doesn't know what he's talking about. Uh, J Jeffy needs to shut up. I, 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 you I, need to tell him, uh, Danny. Uh, 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 Tell me what? Okay, fine, Bowser. I was jealous of your trophy. Wait, you were? I, I knew you were. And, and and I'm the one who broke your trophy. Wait, you broke it? I thought Junior broke it. No, I framed him. I made it look like your son did it. See, the truth is, I sent uh, an inflatable airplane to your son in the mail, and I knew he was going to invite Jeffy to play with him. And then when Jeffy had the airplane, I, I paid him $100 to throw it at your trophy. And then when the trophy hit the ground, it didn't break, so I took a hammer to it. I, I'm a fraud. I, I'm jealous of your trophy, and I can't pay my house payment, but I'm somehow slipping Jeffy $100 bills. How am I doing that? Yeah, so I was jealous of your trophy, and I just didn't want you to know. Well, I'm just glad you admitted it. <laughs> You were jealous, you were jealous. I'm forever number one, so it doesn't matter if it's broken or not. <laughs> guys, am I still grounded? Or oh man, Joseph, our new Legos are so cool. I know, dude, mine's mine's cooler. No, 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 mine's cooler. Hey guys, what's up? Ah, who are you? Dude, Stranger Danger! How'd you get in my house? Guys, it's me, Cody. Cody? I don't know a Cody. Yeah, who's Cody? I don't know Cody. Wait, guys, yes, you do. I've been your friend for years. Wait, wait, who's that kid that we hung out with like six months ago? Um, uh, Connor? No, Con Connor? I think it's Connor. Wait, it could have been guys, Connor. Guys, you know me. It hasn't been that long. Oh, Cody, the kid that stopped hanging out with us six months ago because of cough cough. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's me. Wait, why are you back here, you weirdo? I thought you had to stay inside. Yeah, loser. Well, I'm wearing a mask now, so now I can come over. I cannot understand a single thing you're saying with that thing on your face. Yeah, he's mumbling. Well, I, I can't understand. You. Well, yes, you can because you've been answering me. You sound like Kenny from South Park. Like, I can't, you speak up. Yeah, I can't understand you. Well, you can understand me because you've been answering me this whole time. Why is Ken wearing a mask? Well, I don't want him to get sick. He's a doll, dude. Yeah, he can't get sick. He's a doll. Well, I still want him to wear a mask, and that's not even actually a mask. It's just a pair of my old underoos that I strapped to his face. I mean, they're dirty, but he prefers it that way. I can't understand anything you just said. Well, yeah. he, yes, you can, Junior. Well, Cody, check out our new Legos. Yeah, aren't they cool? They're awesome. Well, they made Legos. Of us? That's awesome. Where's mine? Uh, how do we tell him? I don't know, dude. Um, no, 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 no. We're not doing this again. Well, they didn't make a Lego of you, Cody. What? Why not? Because maybe they forgot about you because you haven't been in videos in six months. Well, it hasn't been that long, Junior. Why don't I have a Lego? Because they only made it for important people. Well, yeah, you're not important anymore. You're like, you're gone. Well, yeah. Okay, who else has a Lego then? Uh, I have a Lego. Joseph has a Lego. Yeah. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Monty Mole? What, Monty Mole? Yeah. Wh who is Monty Mole? He's a mole that's named Monty. Mm -hmm. what, that's it? He's just a mole named Monty? Yeah, and also Pokey. Oh, I forgot Pokey. Pokey? Yeah, Pokey my G. What, yeah. How long have I been gone? I don't even know these people. Yeah, well, they replaced you. You're going to be really mad when you find out about Harry. Wh who's Harry? Uh, we'll, do, we'll do another video about that. <laughs> Guys, this is bull. I want a Lego. Well, you're not getting a Lego. Maybe if you stay in videos long enough, they'll make a Lego about you. Well, these Legos aren't even accurate because Joseph has a green shell and his shell is red now for some reason. Well, hold on. God. Oh, don't do it to him. Uh, here, here you go. Are you happy? 
it's better, I guess. You know what, Joseph? Go back to your red shell. You're right. You're right, dude. You're not going to bend over for him. Yeah, right? All right, so uh, just watch us while we play with our Legos. Oh, man. This is so cool. Mario, put down your Lego and eat your pizza. Shut up. You're just jealous you don't have your own Lego. Um, I got a question. Why do you guys get to eat pizza and I have to eat green beans? Because, Jeffy, you're young. You have to eat healthy. We're old, so we don't care about our health. Oh, give me some pizza, Daddy. Jeffy, stop it. Daddy, then you stop playing with your Lego god. But, but I like my Lego toy. I don't care, Daddy. You're going to sit there and eat all your pizza and then you can have your Lego god back. So you sit there and hush, Daddy, and you eat your pizza. Eat my pizza. Um, mother, um, father, um, I, um, have a question. Um, for my birthday this year, um, I, um, didn't really get that many things. So, um, I was wondering, um, if, um, you guys, um, could, um, take me to Disney World, um. Disney World? Jimmy, you can't go to Disney World. It's dangerous. And it's expensive. And it's hot outside. And it's expensive. And you'll have to wear a face mask. Which are expensive. I don't want to wear a face mask. Then you're not going to Disney World. Okay, fine. I'll wear a face mask. Jeff, we're not going to Disney World. It's too expensive. All right, Daddy. How much did you spend on this Lego guy? 60 bucks. Okay. That's 60 bucks I could have had to go to Disney World. Well, Jeffy, look. It's a pandemic. You might get sick. Just wait a year. A year? That's it's only 365 days, Jeffy. Well, it's like 687 days on Mars. We don't live on Mars, Jeffy. Well, we might as well because you keep trying to feed me alien poop. Just eat your green beans, Jeffy. You can eat your pizza, Daddy. I want to play with my Lego. No, you're not getting this Lego guy back until you finish all your pizza. And I'm going to go hide him upstairs. <laughs> Oh man, I love playing with my Lego. Me too, dude. Yeah, I just love playing with Monty Mole. Although I do actually kind of like Pokey though. I might have to take him home with me. <laughs> I might accidentally sit on him. Hey guys, can you guys help me hide my daddy's Lego toy? Oh, you got the Mario Lego. That's the coolest one. Yeah, I'm trying to hide it from my daddy until he takes me to Disney World. Disney World? Isn't that closed? No, it's open. <sighs> so stupid. I want to go to Disney World if it's open. Yeah, me too, dude. Yeah, let's go. But guys, you'd have to wear a mask in 100 degree heat around thousands Thousands of people who all ride rides and touch stuff and get their germs everywhere. It's a bad idea. It sounds like so much fun. Will you go if we go, Cody? But no, I'm not going, Junior. But you're wearing your Darth Vader mask. Aren't you immune to it? But no, Junior, I don't care. I'm not going to Disney World in the middle of a pandemic. Okay, well, what if we still go? Well, that's fine. I'll go to your funeral then. Wait, you won't go to our funeral if we don't go to Disney World? What? what? No, uh, I mean, I'll go to your funeral either way. Well, no, you said you'll go to our funeral if we go to Disney World, so you're not going to my funeral if I don't go to Disney World? What? No, Junior, I, I'm still going to your funeral. What a horrible friend. Joseph, will you go to my funeral even, even if I don't go to Disney World? I would totally go. Yeah, so you should go to my funeral regardless if I go to someone. You should put conditions on my funeral. Yeah. What, okay, you know what, Junior? If you go to Disney World, I'm not going to your funeral. Why don't we go to my funeral now, now that you're putting, like, terms and conditions on my funeral? It's my funeral. It's, don't make it about you. What, Junior, I, I, I'll go to your funeral. Fine. I, I, I won't even know if you go to my funeral because I'll be dead, so I don't care if you go or not. Joseph will go no matter what, right? Right. Jeff will go no matter what, right? Yeah. Because we're our boys. We go to our boys' funerals. We don't just put conditions on our funerals. Yeah, you're such a bad friend, Cody. Yeah, Cody, Cody you know what? I'm not going to your funeral unless you dye your skin blue. <laughs> what? I, okay, well, that's fine. Yeah, yeah, go, go be a smurf. What? Junior, I... And you know, you know, we're going to Disney World, and we're not even going to wear masks because you're stupid and lame. Come on, guys. Let's go ask my dad if we can go to Disney World. Yeah, let's yeah. go. Okay. Oh, man, I love playing with my new Legos. It looks just like me. Dad, dad, dad. What do you want, Junior? Don't you see I'm playing with my Legos? Yeah, it's really cool, but I was wondering if me and my friends can go to Disney World. Disney World? Isn't it close? Well, it's open as long as you wear a mask. Oh, no, Junior. I don't want you getting sick. Look, I'm 500 years old, and I don't have that much longer to live. And I don't want you to get me sick because you went to Disney World. Well, I promise we'll wear a mask. Uh, no, no. Speaking of masks, you should be wearing one right now. I don't want to wear a mask inside the house. Well, you better wear a mask in the house, Junior. Where's your mask? I don't want to. Get a mask. Wear a mask right now. Okay. Hmm. I love my Legos. <laughs> <sighs> So you guys are finally smart decided to start wearing masks. No, my dad's making me wear this mask. Well, then your dad's smart. No, it's stupid, Cody. Like, I don't see how you're supposed to breathe in this thing. How do doctors wear these things for eight hours? Like, I'm hyperventilating. <sighs> I can't breathe. <sighs> I'm like claustrophobic. The, the walls are closing in. <sighs> Junior, I've been wearing a mask longer than you have. Wow, well, Cody, you're trying to make everything into a competition. Just kind of a Lego and you don't. Doesn't mean you have to make everything a competition. Wait. Where's Pokey? Oh, uh, I don't know. Let me help you look for him. Uh, Pokey? Pokey? Uh, yeah, yeah, I don't know. He's not here. Well, great. I lost my Lego and I can't breathe. Dude, I can't even talk in this mask. Yeah, it's dumb. You know what, guys? Let's take our mask off. I can't do this anymore. Oh, okay, dude, you're right. <sighs> oh, man, that's so much better. <gasps> I can breathe. <sighs> dude, dude. I love air. Uh, me too. I love <sighs> it, too. Give me your air. <sighs> Give me 
you are doing. Ah, 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 so I guess you guys are not going to Disney World. Oh, we're still going to Disney World, right, guys? What, yeah. We, we are? Wait, dude, dude, your dad said no. Screw what my dad says. We're still going to go to Disney World. We have to listen to what they say. Right. Yeah. I think we should sneak out of the house and go. Yeah, let's just go. Cody, you coming with? No, I'm not coming with, Junior. I don't want to get sick. Okay, well, since you want to be lame and be a square, can you babysit our Legos? Okay, I'll take good care of them. All right, well, um, we're going to Disney World, so let's go, guys. We're not even going to wear masks. Yeah, yeah let's go. Guys, we're at Disney World. Woo! We're not going to get sick. No. no. We're not going to wear masks. No. We're going to ride all the rides. Oh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, our parents don't know what they're talking about. We're not going to get sick. Yeah. Let's go. Woo! Yeah, take that. That'll teach you guys to make fun of me for not having a Lego. I'm gonna break Junior's neck. Where's it at? Where's what? My Lego. My son Jeffy. He hid my Lego somewhere in the couch. Where's it at? I found it, Mario. It was behind the couch. Well, give it to me. Oh, man, I love playing with this thing. Ooh, I'm gonna kill it. <laughs> I got all the coins, yes. Wait a second. Where's Jeffy? I don't know. Oh, he went to Disney World. To Disney World? With who? Uh, with his friends. I think Joseph flew him there with his shell. What? Mario, we have to go get Jeffy. Look at him. He's swimming, baby. He's swimming. Mario, we have to go to Disney World to find Jeffy and his friends. I'm going to put him in the sand. Mario, come on. We he's, have to go now. He's in the sand, though. Mario. Wait, hold on. I'm going to try the couch. Oh, Fine. He's if you're not coming with me, I'm going without you. He's burning, baby. Look. Mario. What? Stop playing with your toy and let's go to Disney World to go save Jeffy and his friends. No, you go do that. I'm going I'm to keep playing. Put you in the water cool you down. Really, Mario? Yes. Ugh. Oh, there he is. Oh, he's all good. That, that's pretty sick. Yeah. <laughs> Jeffy, lick the bar. Look at me. Oh, man, that ride was so much fun. Dude, did you lick the ride? Yeah, I licked the ride. Yeah, I licked the ride, too. I went. Yeah, I went uh, Guys, what are you doing here? You're not supposed to be at Disney. World. Up yours, old lady. Yeah, up yours, mommy. Jeffy, why are you wearing any masks? Your mom should be wearing a mask. Oh, Ooh, good one, Junior. Yeah. Come on, we're going home right now. But uh, we want to keep Come on. Oh. Yeah, the poor thing's all tired out. What were you boys thinking? I just wanted to see Minnie Mouse's hoo-hoos. We just want to do something fun. We haven't been able to do anything for the last few months. That is so irresponsible. You're all going to get sick. What? What happened to my Legos? Oh uh, yeah, somebody just came in and broke them all. It's nothing I could have done. What? Hey, uh, did you actually go to Disney World? Yeah, it was so much fun. Well, that's my cue to leave. But why? Because well, I don't want to get sick. Well, you're wearing your Kylo Ren mask. Yeah, whatever. Just call me in two weeks if you're good. Uh? Oh, you guys are all going to get sick. I just know it. We're not going to get sick. We're perfectly healthy. We only licked one ride. You licked a ride? Well, that's the only reason we go to Disney World to lick rides. Right? Yeah, it's the fun part. Oh, yeah. no, you guys are going to get sick. Look, we're not going to get sick. Oh, I feel so sick. Oh, me too, dude. <laughs> I feel fine. I mean, I have diarrhea, but I always have diarrhea. You two look terrible. Oh, thanks. Why don't you look in a mirror and I'd say the same thing about you. <laughs> I called the doctor. Hey there, somebody call the doctor? Yes. These boys all went to Disney World and didn't wear face masks. What? You said I want a mask. What? I said you should have worn a mask. I can't understand you with that thing in front of your mouth. I said you should have worn a mask. There's a pandemic going on. How do you forget to wear a mask? Man, I hate when people forget to wear a mask. And then there's those people who wear the mask under their nose. Like, what's that going to do? You still breathe through your nose. Always wear your mask. I'm sorry. And we shouldn't have probably licked the ride at Disney World either. What? You licked a ride at Disney World? Yeah. What, what are you, crazy? That's a terrible idea. You should always... I, I'm so mad I got to get right up in your face to yell at you. Always wear your mask. <laughs> never forget to wear your mask. And never lick a ride at Disney World. You, yeah. Are you crazy? Yeah, I'm sorry. Do you think we have the cough cough? Well, we did say turtles can't get it, so you boys probably just have the flu. But I would be worried about him. I'm asymptomatic. Oh, oh, okay. Well, in that case, I'm just going to go back to my shift at the nursing home. I guess next time we should have listened to our parents and should have wore our mask. Well, I don't have parents. Who do I listen to? I don't know. Ew. Why does pokey smell bad? So, guys, what do you want to do today? So, guys, what do you want to do today? That's all you ever say, Junior. Yeah, it's getting old, dude. Yeah, say something new. Um, 
Well, fellas, what kind of activities would you like to partake in this evening? Hmm, I like that better. Ooh, what a classy gentleman you, but I'm bored. Yeah, me too. Guys, check it out. I got my daddy's credit card. You stole your dad's credit card? It's only stealing if you get caught. Bingo. Well, you're still using it without his permission, so that is stealing. No, this is my daddy's credit card, and if he were to die, then I would inherit it. That's not how credit cards work. Shut up, Cody. What are you going to buy, Jeffy? I don't know. What do you guys think I should buy? Something involving balls. I like balls. All right. What about a ski ball machine? I heard skeet and balls, so I'm in. A ski ball machine? I've always wanted one, Joseph. Me too, dude. Oh, Jeffy, go buy a ski ball machine. All right. All right, guys. We got our ski ball machine. All thanks to my daddy's credit card. Woo, I love committing a felony. Dreams do come true. Credit card fraud. Cody, what are you doing? No, I'm trying to put the ball in my mouth. Well, roll the ball, Cody. Come on, dude. Okay, here I go. Uh. Oh, got a hundred! Oh my god, you're, you're really good at this That's game, Cody! Savage, dude. All right, my turn! Uh, Wait, you're, you're not supposed to throw it, you're Jeffy. Not it. Uh, but you, you got to throw turn. it! But no, no, you're not supposed to throw it. You're, you're, not you're gonna break it if you throw it like that! What? Oh, god. You guys broke the game! We didn't even have a turn yet! Well, it's my daddy's credit card, and if anyone can break the ski ball machine, it's me! Yeah, I mean, I guess he's right. Well, now what game are we gonna play? We never got a turn! I think it should be a game involving balls and men. Oh, I got the perfect idea! Foosball table! Now this is what I'm talking about. Bunch of strong dudes fighting over a ball. Wish it was me. Uh, I don't like this game. It's pretty segregated. Blacks versus whites? Well, we all know who's gonna win. You guys are much faster and stronger than us. But you guys drive pickup trucks and lock your kids in hot cars. Well, guess who has 45 presidents? Ooh, lucky you, nigga. How many in peach, though? You know what? Better yet, name a good white rapper. Eminem. Oh, that's like get me. Come on. I'll name a black NASCAR driver. Nobody watches NASCAR! Who wants diverse man foosball? Dear God. Well, come on, guys, let's play. <sighs> I guess I'll play. Come on, Jeffy, I'll play you. But you, you got you to hit the ball in the middle. Ooh, 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 Cody. Ooh, 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 ooh. Guys, okay, guys, look, I don't like this game. It, 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 Cody, stop it. All right, guys, uh, Jeffy, why don't you buy a ball pit? Oh, so a woman? What? No, like, you know, a pit full of balls and like a Chuck E. Cheese we can all dive in? Oh, okay, I'll go buy one of those. All right. Oh, best purchase ever. All right, guys, peep the ball pit. Whoa, this is the biggest ball pit I've ever seen. How deep is it? Like 10 feet. I'm in heaven. Dude, this is so dope. All right, Jeffy, you jump in first. All right, sayonara, hoes. Oh, I want to jump in, I want to jump in. Oh, yeah. Yeah. What? Where are we? It looks like some kind of pocket of air inside the ball pit. Oh, it's like a cool little hideout. But can we get out if we wanted to? Oh, uh, let me see. What? What? Well, guys, the, the balls, they won't open up. I've never been this balls deep before. Well, Cody, I mean, you would enjoy having all these balls around you, right? Well, yeah, but not these kind of balls. Well, guys, if we want to get out, we can't. What are we going to eat? I don't know, dude. Let's well, scream out. Help! 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 Jeffy, have you seen my credit card? Jeffy, it's missing out of my wallet. You better not have taken it and bought something, Jeffy. What is this? A ski ball machine? And a food ball machine? Jeffy, that is it, you are so grounded. What? Is that my phone? Hello? Hey, Marvin. Goodman, why are you calling me? Did you win the lottery recently? No. Did your grandfather die and you inherit a bunch of money? No. So then why are you running up your credit card like you do have a bunch of money? Well, I haven't ran up my credit card. I haven't used it once. Okay. Well, let's go over your purchases, shall we? $3,000 skee-ball machine? $3,000? $2,000 foosball table? $2,000? $5,000 ball pit? $5,000 ball pit? You're making a lot of ball-related purchases, Marvin. What? So if you don't pay off your credit card by the end of the month, I'm going to show up to your house, and I'm going to bite your balls off, then I'm going to put a tutu on and swing your balls around like a ball arena. Well, listen, listen. Uh, someone stole my credit card, Goodman, and, but, but here's the thing. They left all the expensive things at my house, so I can just return it. Okay. Well, let's hope they left the receipt at your house too. Well, I'm gonna find the receipt and I'm gonna return all this stuff so I don't owe anything on my credit card. Well, for your balls, let's hope. Oh, you don't have to worry about that. Jimmy! Where's the receipt for all this stuff, Jimmy? Where are you at, Jimmy? I need that receipt, Jimmy! But are you in the ball pit? Are you in here, Jimmy? <sighs> There's no point in screaming for help. No one's gonna hear us down here. I know you're in here, Jimmy! Wait, that's my daddy! Well, scream help so he can hear us! No, 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 no! Because he's gonna be really mad that I took his credit card! Well, I mean, yeah, I'd be mad if somebody stole my credit card, too. Well, we gotta be saved! Help! 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 Please help! Help me, daddy! I guess he's not in there. 
Aha! I found your shoe, Jeffy! I know you're in there! You're just choosing not to come out. Well, guess what? I'm gonna call the cops, and I'm gonna say that you stole my credit card because you're 18, and that's credit card fraud. And you're gonna go to jail, Jeffy. You don't care? Okay, I'm gonna call the cops. Ugh, I can't believe your dad didn't hear us screaming for help. Well, at least I'm not grounded. Well, we still have to get out of here. Man, if we had a girl in here, we could totally repopulate. I mean, just close your eyes and pretend I'm a girl. It's not the same. Hey there, you call the cops? Uh, yeah. Go on. Oh, you want me to start talking? No, I thought we'd all just sit here and guess why you called us. Or maybe we can play I Spy. Hey, Simmons, I spy with my little eye a massive waste of police resources. Okay, Bo. It's him, Simmons. Oh, there's the little bugger. Where are you from? All right, look, this is what happened. Someone stole my credit card and bought a skee-ball machine and a foosball table and a ball pit. And I know who did it, but I don't want to tell you. Uh, okay, so it seems to me like all the stuff you just listed is here. Yeah, it is. Uh, okay, so somebody stole your credit card, had all the stuff shipped to you, and you set it up like you were going to use it? Uh, yeah, well, see, like when the boxes came, I, I, I set it all up, and then I realized I didn't buy this. So you put all the balls into the ball pit before you realized you didn't buy a oh, ball Oh, okay, pit? look, can I just tell you the truth? Yes, I would prefer that. I don't know why we didn't just start with that. Okay, so look, my son went to my wallet, took my credit card, bought all this stuff, and now he's hiding in the ball pit and won't come out. Okay, so you called us to, what, spank him? Well, no, no, he's 18, so I, I want you to, like, arrest him. Oh, you want to press charges? Only if he doesn't have the receipt to return all this stuff. <sighs> okay, so let me see if I have this straight. Your son stole your credit card, bought all this stuff, and now you want us to arrest him if he doesn't have the receipts to return the stuff? Exactly. You writing all this down, Simmons? I don't have a pen. <sighs> Thank you, Simmons. Yeah, so, like, that, that's what I want you to do. Okay, so let me see if I have this right. You want two professional police officers to dive into a ball pit during work hours? Yes. Ooh, I love my job so much sometimes! Okay, but before we do that, all this talk about credit card fraud is reminding me of when I had my credit card stolen. You had your credit card stolen? I did, Simmons. Thank you for asking. And I want to tell you all about it. All right, Simmons, just like we practiced. Da -da 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 -da. I oh, once had my credit card stolen. stolen. I tried to get it back. back. Actually, you know what, Simmons? Let's not sing it. That's kind of lame. I'll, I'll just tell you about it instead. So I'm at my doctor job at the hospital, right? And I'm doing this long 18-hour open-heart surgery, and it's taken forever. I'm getting tired. I'm getting hungry. So eventually, I tell the patient and the nurses, hey, I'm going to go get lunch real quick. I'll be right back. So I go out into the waiting room where we have the vending machines. We have one of those nice vending machines, the new ones that takes credit cards, so it doesn't even matter if you don't have cash. So then I see that you have Cheez-Its in the vending machine, and you know I'm gonna get Cheez-Its because I love Cheez-Its. So I swipe my card, get a bag of Cheez-Its. I swipe my card again, I get a second bag of Cheez-Its. And I'm thinking, two bags of Cheez-Its are not enough Cheez-Its. I gotta buy the whole damn row of Cheez-Its. So I swipe my card again, and as I'm doing that, I notice out of the corner of my eye, I see somebody with binoculars watching me buy Cheez-Its. And I'm thinking, why would somebody have binoculars in a hospital watching me buy Cheez-Its? And then I realize, he must be with the Cheez-It Corporation. He's trying to keep track of how many Cheez-Its a single person can buy. And I'm thinking, maybe I'm going to win some kind of contest, you know, because I'm buying all these Cheez-Its. So I start swiping my card really slow so he can get all my information, because I want to make sure he can track me down to give me all my Cheez-It reward, you know? So then I buy like seven bags of Cheez-Its. And then I walk over to the guy, because my curiosity is getting the best of me. I'm like, hey, hey, I see you. And then the guy hides his binoculars. And then I'm like, no, 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 I already caught you. I know you're with the Cheez-It Corporation. And then he's like, no, sir, I'm not with the Cheez-It Corporation. And I'm like, no, 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 I saw your binoculars. I already got you. And then I see in front of him, he has a piece of paper with a bunch of numbers on it. And it looks kind of like a credit card number. But then I realize that must be all the Cheez-Its I've bought in my lifetime. I'm definitely winning this contest. So I give the guy my name and my home address and my social security number, all the information he needs, you know, because I also want to make sure that I can write this off as a gift on my taxes when I get all my Cheez-Its. So he's so happy. Like, he's so happy to have all this information. So I'm like, I definitely won this contest. So I go back home to my wife and I'm like, honey, Cheesy Wonka is going to give me the Cheez-It factory. I'm going to be a Cheez-It king. She doesn't believe me. She thinks I'm crazy. And I'm like, honey, you just watch. This is going to be awesome. So I sit back and I'm feeling good. I'm feeling confident. And then my phone starts ringing and it's my credit card company. And they said that my credit cards are all maxed out. And then my bank calls and said they're repossessing my house and my credit is ruined. Because it turns out there was no Cheesy Wonka and that guy did not work for the Cheez-It company. He was a credit card scammer and he stole my identity and all of my money. 
So now, whenever I see somebody with binoculars, I just start throwing haymakers. Like one time, I was in the park, and I saw these old ladies with binoculars, and then I started throwing haymakers. And yeah, it turns out they were bird watching, but still. So yeah, just be glad it was your son that stole your credit card, and not some binoculars-wielding scammer from the made-up Cheez-It factory. Okay, can we get Jeffy out of the ball pit to see if we can find the receipts? Yeah, sure. Ball pit time, Simmons! Oh, goody! Wow, this ball pit looks pretty deep. I was balls deep in your mother last night. Thank you, Simmons. Now I have that image in my head. Can you just go in the ball pit and grab Jeffy? I don't know, man. This looks kind of deep. I don't want to drown. What, drowned in plastic balls? Do you know how many ball pit related deaths there are every year? No. Well, neither do I, but it's got to be at least one, and I don't want to be it. So you're telling me that Jeffy could be dead in there? I don't know, man. Well, let's just go in there. You're a cop. Okay, but if I yell help, you help, okay, Simmons? I got it. I mean, that should go without saying, but with you, I don't really know. Okay. <laughs> Oh god, oh god, I'm sinking! Simmons, help me! I got you, man! Simmons, you saved my life! I don't know what I would do without you. Never let go, Simmons. I won't. Can you guys go in there and grab my son? Hey, I almost died, man. Oh, okay, look, so none of you are gonna go in there. Hey, I have an idea. How about you go in here? Okay, I got an idea. How about we wrap, like, a string around one of you guys, so that if you go down there, we can pull you out. Ooh, that's a pretty good idea! Okay, I'm gonna go grab a string. Okay. There you go. Why do I gotta do it? Well, you're a better swimmer than me, Simmons. Back at the academy, we used to call you Swimmins. Oh, that's right. I did get a bronze medal for swimming. Yeah, so when you get in there, when you find Jeffy, you tug three times, we'll pull you out. All right, what happens if I tug four times? That means you need to pee. What about five times? That means you have to poop. What about six times? That means you want some Cheez-Its. What about seven times? Well, that means you want to go to Outback Steakhouse when we're done here. All right, well, let's start tugging. Let's get some of that shrimp on the barbie. Oh, yeah, the chocolate thunder from down under. It's delicious. No, no, you, no, you're not going to tug more than three times. You only tug three times. If you find someone or if an emergency happens, you tug three times. All right. Go. Wait, how many times was he supposed to tug? Three. Oh, okay. Oh, uh, we're never gonna be saved. I'm so hungry. Yeah, we might need to eat someone, dude. Start with my butt. Jesus Christ. Uh, a police officer, we're saved! Or harass. Before you accuse me of anything, I didn't do it. Well, there's four of you? Well, yeah, yeah. You're here to save us? Yeah, let's go, kids. What you're gonna do is you're gonna hold on to each other's hands, and we're gonna pull you out of here. Okay. Come on, dude. All right. Uh, uh, uh. What, how many was that? Was that Cheez-Its or Outback? Just pull, pull, pull! We're free! I was a free man, Massa. Simmons, you saved four boys! You're a hero! I try, mate. But Jeffy, do you have all the receipts for all the stuff you just bought? No! Well, yeah, yeah, come on, Jeffy! So, Jeffy, you do not have any of the receipts for all the expensive stuff you bought on my credit card? Well, I do have the receipts, but kind of not. How you kind of not? You either don't have it or you do. Well, I do have the receipt. Then show it to me. But I spit my gum into it. This is deserved. I am a shithead. So, are, are we pressing charges? Or am I going out back? What are we doing? Ah! Jeffy, stop playing with that toy. It's really loud and annoying. <sighs> Jeffy, I said stop playing with that toy. It's gonna keep doing that and scaring you. <sighs> Baby, please don't buy me more toys. I'm sorry, Marvin. I thought he'd like it. They're just really loud and annoying. <sighs> Jeffy, I said stop playing with that toy. It's gonna keep popping out. But I gotta find out what's in the box. There's a monkey in the box. <gasps> There's a monkey in there. I'm coming to save you, Mr. Monkey. Wait, wait, wait. No, no. <laughs> All right, that's it. No more monkey toy. Well, I like the monkey toy. No, you don't. It keeps scaring you. Get ready for bed. Put your PJs on. Oh, I want my PJs. I got my diaper on. Baby, can you put his PJs on for him? Okay, Jeffy, come with me. It's night-night time. Did you put his PJs on? Yep, I even changed his diaper, too. Wh why? Was it dirty? Of course not. It was on the outside of his pants. But someone pooped my pants. Someone pooped your pants? Yep. Are you sure it wasn't you who pooped your pants? No, but someone did, and then they put them back on me. And then the poop smeared up my back and mommy had to clean it. Uh, okay, well, well, we're gonna go in the living room and have adult time, okay? So you just stay here and go to bed, okay, Jeffy? Okay, I gotta get one more in before bed. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Good night, Jeffy. So, Jeffy's in bed. <laughs> I know, we have the whole night to ourselves. So, uh, what do you wanna do? Um, 
Well, we could watch a movie. What? Well, I was thinking we... <gasps> Jeffy, I told you to stay in your bed. Why? Because it's bedtime. You're supposed to go to sleep. We're, we're trying to have adult time. Why is too dark in my room? Too dark in your room? What? You didn't put a nightlight? Oh, I forgot. I'm sorry. Ugh. Come on, Jeffy. Let's go give you your nightlight. Nightlight? All right, Jeffy. There's your nightlight. Nightlight? Yes, it's a light that stays on while you're sleeping so you're not afraid of the dark. But it's still too dark in here. But it's still too dark. I don't know what else to do. Hold on. I think I have something. Here, Jeffy, look at that. What's that? Look, stars. <gasps> stars? Stars are on the wall? How do they get on the wall like that? It's, it's just what the light does, Jeffy. Is that good enough? No, it's still too dark in here. Turn, turn the room light on. But, Jeffy, that'd be way too bright. Mom, well, what are you doing? <sighs> Is that good enough? No, it's bright. It's too bright in here. Turn the room light off. <sighs> All right, Jeffy, I don't know what else to do. But it's still too dark in here. Well, here, hold on, one more. Jeffy, try this one. What are you doing with that? You're supposed to hit it to turn it on. Oh, oh, wow, it's a light. You're going to hurt yourself. You, no, no, you're, that one's too dangerous for you. How about, uh, how, how about this? How about we, uh, like, oh, this? What? Oh, what are you doing with that? That's a flashlight, Jeffy. Ooh. Ooh, a flashlight. Oh, it's too bright. It just, just turn the room light back on. But you said that one was too bright. Well, now it's too dark in here, and I want the room light back on. Oh, come on, let's go. <sighs> it's okay, Marvin. We still have the whole night. We can do whatever you want. Wh wh whatever I want? Of course. <laughs> what are you doing? Jeffy! What? What, what, what? what do you want now? What? I need a bedtime story. You don't need a bedtime story. You're too old for a bedtime story. No, I'm not. Marvin, we can read him one bedtime story. It won't take that long. Well, what if one's not good enough? What if he wants two or three? I need a bedtime story. We'll read just one. Come on, let's go. <gasps> Come on. All right, Jeffy, we're going to read you Green Eggs and Ham. Green Eggs and Ham? Yes, Green Eggs and Ham. What? what how, how, how'd they do that? How'd they do what? Eggs and Ham can't be green. It's just a book, Jeffy. Well, I want green eggs and ham. You can't have it. It doesn't exist. It's just a book. Well, the guy in the book has it. Because it's a book, Jeffy. Well, I want green eggs and ham. I want Jeffy, green eggs and ham. I want Jeffy, green eggs and ham. Jeffy, Jeffy, stop it. Just, just listen to the story. Marvin, we can figure out how to make green eggs and ham. Well, no, we can't because it doesn't exist. Well, it exists in the book. Because it's a book, Jeffy. Marvin, the sooner he goes to bed, the sooner we can have grown-up alone bonding time. But I don't know how to make green eggs and ham because it doesn't exist. It can't be that hard. We can figure it out. <laughs> It doesn't exist. Jeffy, while we go make your stupid green eggs and ham, just, just try to read the book. Oh, yeah. Look at all that green. Ooh, this is exciting. Yeah, some green on the ham. Put some, put some green on the eggs. This oh, is yeah. fun. Look, it's looking good. Oh, yeah. Work your magic. It's very, very green. Oh, yeah. He's going to get Ew. his green eggs and ham. Oh, that's, that's gross. Oh, that's some, some more green. Okay. Oh, that's very green egg. All right, Jeffy. Here's your green eggs and ham. Doesn't that look good? This guy's a liar. What? This guy's a liar. He's saying he likes green eggs and ham. Th th that's the point of the book, Jeffy. See, in the beginning of the book, he doesn't like green eggs and ham. And then he finally tries it, and he likes it. But he hasn't even touched his ham yet, so how do you know he likes it? How, how do you know he hasn't touched his ham? Because, look, if you look on this page, there's one egg on his fork, okay? And then he eats it and makes the statement that he likes green eggs and ham, and he hasn't even touched his ham yet. I don't want that. He's a liar. Well, 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 maybe because it's a book and that's a picture, you're supposed to assume he's tried both. Because, like, maybe on the next page, he's ate all his ham, right? Uh -uh. Because on this page, he's only on his second egg. And he still hasn't touched his ham yet. And he's over here rambling on how he eats green eggs and ham anywhere. Anywhere's in all capitals. I don't want that. He's a liar. But, but, but Jeffy, we worked so hard to make the stupid green eggs and ham. Well, why can't you just try it? I don't want that because he's a liar. What, Je you know what, Jeffy? Look, you have your stupid bedtime story. You have your stupid green eggs and ham. You have all your dumb night lights. Look, as long as you don't bother me for the whole night, I'll be happy. So are you going to bother me? Nope. Okay, so you know, I'm happy. Adult time? Adult time. All right, all right, we're going to go have adult time. Just stay here with your dumb, stupid, dumb book and all your stuff. Okay, Jeffy literally has everything. He has a stupid nightlight, a stupid book, a stupid green eggs and ham. No more interruptions. Yeah, Marvin, now we can finally be alone. Oh, really? Daddy? Jeffy, what are you doing out of your room? Stop cock blocking me. There's a monster under my bed. No, there's not, Jeffy. There's no monster under your bed, I promise. Yes, there is, Daddy, and he told me he was going to poop in my jammies. What? 
Poop in your jammies. No, no, he did not say that. He did not say that. Yes, he did, Dad. He said, get me up when you poop in your jammies. And I said, no, Mr. Monster, please don't poop in my jammies. And I ran in here and I told my dad. Jeffy, there's no monster on your bed. I can show you. I promise there's no monster on your bed. No, Dad, there is a monster on my bed and you got to come get him out. <sighs> All right, Jeffy, I'm going to show you that there's no monster under your bed. Come on. All right, Jeffy, where's this monster so we can get rid of it so it never comes back? He's not in the bed, Dad. You got to make him go away. He's under the bed. I really don't want poop in my jammies. Well, there is no under the bed, so that poop in your jammies is all you, buddy. But what if he comes up here and tries to poop in my jammies? There's no monster under your bed because there's no under the bed, so that means there's no monster. But he only comes out when you're not here. He only comes out when we're not here. Isn't that convenient? Well, I got a solution for that. All right, Jeffy, you're not gonna have to worry about any more monsters pooping in your jammies, because I got you this. What is that? It's uh, a monster destroyer. Ooh. A monster destroyer? Yeah, it destroys monsters that try to poop in kids' jammies. I told you they exist. <sighs> yeah, yeah, well, it shoots the monster with a laser. A laser? Yeah, yeah, so so, so no more monsters will poop in your jammies, and and the camera faces you, so, so I'll be able to see any of the monsters. I mean, it'll, it'll destroy any monster that tries to poop in your jammies. Oh, what did you do? I, I, ju I just explained it. If a monster tries to poop your jammies, it'll shoot it with a laser and it'll make it go away, okay? So, you happy now? Okay. <sighs> okay, let, let, let's go. Let's right? go. I, I, don't bother me anymore. <sighs> Finally. Marvin, was that really a monster destroyer? No, baby. It's just a baby monitor so we can watch Jeffy. Oh, that's actually really smart. I know, I'm a genius. Marvin, what's he doing? <laughs> Jeffy, stop it. Mr. What? No, it's me. Are you talking to me? No, it's me, Marvin. Dad? Are you driving a machine? No, no, I'm not. Go back to bed. Why? Be because, because, uh, go to sleep. We're, 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 we're trying to do stuff. I saved you, Dad. Hold on. <gasps> no, 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 no don't, don't break the machine. <gasps> Jimmy, stop it. Uh, oh, my God. Oh, oh no! Oh! Uh, Jeffy, why'd you knock out the monster machine? Why? Oh, you're too late, Daddy. T too late? Too late for what? The monster already pooped in my jammies. The monster already pooped in your jammies? Yeah, he came right after the machine fell down. Jeffy, you pooped in your jammies! You did! No, the monster did! <sighs> but the good news is, my diaper's still clean. <laughs> Oh, Jesus Christ, oh God. Shh, don't wake him, Marvin. I don't wake him. I don't want to sleep with him. Ah! It's only for one night. Oh. Ah! Oh. Got it! Got it, got it, got it, got it, got it! What? It's important. I need to borrow your car keys and 50 bucks. What? No, Jeffy, you're not going to use my card. Why do you need 50 bucks? Daddy, check it. I found this girl online, and she said she would eat a hot fudge sundae off my junk for 25 bucks behind Walgreens. For 25 bucks? Then why do you need 50? Because I wanted to do it twice. That's a lot of ice cream, Jeffy. Yeah, hopefully she's not lactose intolerant. Lactose intolerant? Uh-huh. Mm, I only have $100. Well, then four times it is. She's going to do it no times, Jeffy. Well, then do you want me to ask for change? What? No, no, Jeffy, listen. She's not going to do it at all because I don't want you eating ice cream in my car. Well, here's the thing, Daddy. I'm not eating ice cream. She is. I'm just the bulb. <laughs> well, no, Jeffy. I don't want any ice cream activities happening in my car. Just, just go get a job or something. What well, do you want me to do what she does for a living? Well, no, Jeffy. Just go to your room and play, please. <sighs> all right, Daddy. I guess I'll ask her if she can get me a discount. No, no discount. Just No, you're not going to do it. Marvin, maybe we should get Jeffy a car. Well, why would we get Jeffy a car? So we can go to Walgreens and do ice cream stuff? No, but he could get a job and drive himself to and from work. I guess you're right. If we do get him a car, he, he can go to get a job, and he's 18 now, so he can start being an adult. But we only have $100. Maybe I can go see if we can get, like, a cheap used car. Yeah, okay, Marvin. All right, baby. I just got Jeffy a very used car. Is it nice? It's it's a car. Uh-oh, you hesitated. No, baby, it's good enough for Jeffy to go find a job, drive to work, and go do his ice cream festivities. Okay. All right, Daddy, check it. I got her down to 20 bucks. So if we take that 100 over there, you go two times, I'll go three times. No, Jeffy. All right, fine, I'll let you go first. But no, Jeffy, but me and your mom got you a very late 18th birthday gift. <gasps> Did you get her to come here? I gotta go clean my room. Well, no, 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 Jeffy, it's in the driveway. Daddy, you don't have to call her an it. Her pronouns are he, she, him, hers. It said it on their profile. Jeffy, no, listen, it's not whatever you're talking to. Come outside. 
All right, Jeffy. Surprise! Surprise! You guys got me a car? Yeah, Jeffy, you're 18 years old now, so you might want to get out of the house, get a job, make your own money. Marvin? Can I pick up fat hoes? Jeffy! What, 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 why are they going to be fat? More cushion for the pushing, Daddy. Well, uh, Jeffy, you can pick up whoever you want in that car, because it's your car, and you can do whatever you want with it. Daddy, can I pimp my ride and spray paint my car yellow? No, Jeffy, you cannot spray paint it yellow. But you said I can do whatever I want to my car. You did say that, Marvin. But spray paint's going to look so ugly, and it looks so nice right now. But, Daddy, I want to pimp my ride. Uh, you know what, Jeffy? Do whatever you want. Just, just go look for a job, please. That's all I needed to hear, Daddy. Oh, he's Come gonna, on, Marvin. He's going to ruin the car. It's time to jeffy fy this hoe. And done. The Jeffy Mobile is complete. Hey, Jeffy, what are you doing? I just got done spray painting my car, Junior. Whoa, you got a new car? It's so sick. It says your name on the hood. Yeah, I call it the hoe puller because it pulls hoes. Check out where they sit, Junior. Oh, shit here. That's so awesome. Yeah, and check out the trunk. It says, shibby. Oh, can we go for a ride? Sure, Junior. Let's go to McDonald's and get some Happy Meals. Hoes love Happy Meals. They will suck your Kremlin. Oh, let's go. Let's go. All right. All right, Junior. You ready to get some Mickey D's? Yeah. Mickey D's nuts. <laughs> Let's try some tunes. All right. I'm riding my Spider-Man bike. I'm just like Peter Parker in Spider-Man 2 when he was delivering pizzas on his bicycle. That movie had Dr. Octopus in it. It was so crazy. Jeffy is trying to pull hose, to pull hose, to pull hose. Jeffy is trying to pull hose in this car. going to help me do it. Woo! What? Jeffy, what was that noise? Oh, no, Junior just keep singing. Jeffy is trying oh, to I, pull I hose, think you hit something. Pull... No, I didn't. Junior just keep singing. Uh, Jeffy, Jeffy is trying to pull hose. Jesus Christ. What do we got, Simmons? Looks like a hit and run, mate. Ah, hit it and quit it, just like I used to do in college. So how's the victim? He was airlifted to the ICU. He's in a coma. Hmm. So we're not going to be getting any answers out of him anytime soon. Any evidence left behind? Uh, not that I see. Wait, what's this? Look, Simmons, yellow paint. Oh, I thought that was mustard. I thought he was eating a hot dog while he was riding his bike. Well, no, I'm pretty sure this is just yellow paint. Well, why would he eat a hot dog with yellow paint on it? That'd what? make him sick. No, no, Sim Simmons, like, it, it, was, it was a yellow car and it left its paint behind when it hit the bike. Well, what if the car was covered in mustard? Okay, Simmons, you know, I really appreciate how you think outside the box sometimes, but this is not one of those times. We need to find a yellow car. Well, it could be the Oscar Mayer Wienermobile. Oh, okay, you, you look for that. I'm going to go find a yellow car. All right. Hey, Danny. Me and Junior just went and got Happy Meals. Peep the box. Happy as fuck. Jeffy, language! You didn't go to Walgreens, did you, Jeffy? Oh, man, Danny, you completely forgot about Walgreens. I'm going to need that hundred bucks. No, Jeffy, that's why we got you that car, so you can go get your own job and make your own money. Oh, maybe I can get a job at Walgreens. Then on my lunch break, I can go in the back and have an ice cream party. Every day would be a Sunday. Beep. No, Jeffy, how about you get a job at McDonald's? But he, she, him, hers, they, them isn't at McDonald's, Daddy. The news. Breaking news, okay? There was a hit and run involving a child on a bicycle, and police need your help to find out who did it. Mr. Goodman is on scene now with an eyewitness who saw the whole thing. Goodman? I'm here at the scene of the crime where a yellow car has struck a child on a bicycle and left the scene. I'm here with the only reported witness, Cody Nutkiss. Now tell me, Cody, give me every detail of what happened. Don't leave out any details. Well, I was just sitting here eating my free medium french fries I get from McDonald's every week, and all of a sudden I heard a BAM, so I guess that's what that was. Truly remarkable and very graphic detail. Now, police are on the scene now, so if you have any information as to a yellow car missing paint, don't hesitate to call 911 immediately. Oh no! I hope that poor kid is okay. Good thing we don't know anyone that owns a yellow car. Damn it! They forgot my toy! Wait a minute. Jeffy, you spray painted your car yellow, right? I sure did, Daddy. And that hoe looked clean. I'm talking yellow like a banana. Oh wait, that's where I could work, Daddy. I could start my own paint and body shop. I could call it Jeffy's Blow and Go. Or Jeffy's Spray and Pay. I spray it, you pay it. Wait, so Jeffy, did you hit anything while you were driving today? Daddy, the only thing I hit was the gas pedal to get where I was going. I'm talking here. But like you didn't hit like anything like, like a kid on a bike? No, but they did add a weird speed bump in the neighborhood today. What? If you were a yellow car, Simmons, where would you park it? Is that a trick question? No. Because you drive on a parkway, but you park on a driveway. Wait, wait, Simmons, look over there! Well, 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 Simmons. If I had a dog, his name would be Bingo. What does this car have to do with your dog? Well, no, S Simmons, I'm saying we found the car we were looking for. What type of dog are you gonna get, mate? I, I'm not getting a dog, Simmons. I'm saying that we found the car. I like cockapoos. Okay, great, but I'm saying we found the car because it's a yellow car that has scratches on it. Oh, so no mustard. No, no, no mustard. Now let's go knock on the door and serve up a hot plate of justice. Good, because I'm hungry. 
Who's at the door? Uh, uh, hello? Hey there. Uh, what do you fine officers want? Fine officers? <laughs> Buy me dinner first, handsome. I hook up with his mom. Oh, God, you have to mention that today? Uh, do you guys have a warrant? What? Okay, that was the most guilty thing you could have said. What, what do, do you have one? Because I don't know what you could be doing here. Okay, look, I don't know if you heard, but there was a hit and run today involving a yellow car, and we found a yellow car parked in your driveway. Oh, well, that's my son's car. Oh, can we have a word with your son? Uh, yeah, yeah sure, come in. Who's at the door, Marvin? It's the cops. Good, because I would like to file a report against McDonald's for forgetting my Happy Meal toy. Oh, I hate when they do that, especially when it's like a limited edition toy. And I really hate when they give you the toy you already got last time. It's like, you should know that I already have this toy. It's stupid. Why are the cops here? Oh, well, there was a hit and run involving a yellow car, and your son happens to have a yellow car. How do you know it was my car? Well, because there are scratches on your car, and there's yellow paint on the bike you hit. Well, how do you know it's not mustard on the bike? It, it's not mustard. Did you taste it? I... I did not. Hold on, I'll go taste it. Jeffy, if you did it, you should go admit to it right now. They'll give you less time if you admit to it. I plead the fifth. Ugh. Oh, God, no, that that is paint. That is not mustard. You definitely hit that bike. Well, what if the kid on the bike hit my parked car? Hmm, damn, I hadn't thought of that. He's got us there, Simmons. Hold on, I'm getting a call. What? Hello? What? The kid woke up from his coma? That's great! Well, you heard me. The kid woke up from his coma. So I'm gonna go ask him what happened. Oh, Jeffy, you're gonna go to jail. I didn't even do anything. Hey, kid, how you feeling? Where am I? Why does my body hurt? Oh, well, you got hit by a car and you just woke up from a coma. That's so crazy! Yeah, listen, we need you to tell us if you remember getting hit by a car. Oh, yeah! I was delivering pizzas like a Spider-Man 2, and then all of a sudden his car came, and I tried to jump over with my spidey powers, but I didn't. Wait, so you were actually trying to jump over the car? Yeah, but my webs couldn't attach to anything, so I got hit. Oh, uh, you're the real Spider-Man? Yeah! Oh my god, Simmons. We have to protect this kid's identity at all costs. If he presses charges, everyone's gonna find out his real name. We can't have that. Don't worry, kid. Your secret's safe with us. Hey there. What'd the kid say? Well, I can't divulge that information because of the Hippo Act, but I may or may not have met Spider-Man. Spider-Man? Spider-Man does whatever a spider can. Him, I met him. Or maybe I didn't. Did you meet him or not? I don't know, maybe maybe I met him, maybe the kid was him, maybe he was the kid, I don't know, maybe he's Spider-Man, maybe he's not, who knows? The kid's Spider-Man? Oh, who told you that? Because I didn't tell you that, he's not He's not Spider-Man, unless he is Spider-Man, I, I don't know, I didn't say that. Spider-Man's real? Yes, he's real, and I met him, maybe. Well, oh, okay, so what's going on, is the kid pressing charges or not? No, Spider-Man is not pressing charges. So the kid is Spider-Man? No, no, I didn't I didn't say that. You, you said the kid is Spider-Man, you said the Spider-Man's not pressing charges. Sp Spider-Man is his lawyer. Look, stop asking me questions, okay? I need to go get an autograph. What? All right, Jeffy, uh, you learn a lesson from today. Daddy, she agreed to me here. Wait, who? The ice cream he, she, him, her. Who's that? It, it, them. Hello? Hey, I'm here to eat ice cream sundaes for 20. Marvin, can we please have a Star Wars movie marathon where we watch all 11 movies? What? There's 11 Star Wars movies? Yeah, Marvin, you have to start with Phantom Menace, Attack of the Clones, Revenge of the Sith, Solo, Rogue One, A New Hope, Empire Strikes Back, Return of the Jedi, Force Awakens, Last Jedi, Rise of Skywalker! Okay, fine, we can try to watch all those movies, but I can't guarantee I'll stay awake during all of them. Yes! <sighs> Stop it, Jeffy. Yeah. Stop it. We're trying to watch a movie. Yeah. Stop it. Yeah. Knock it off! I wonder what's gonna happen next. I can tell you what's gonna happen next. We've seen this movie like 50 times. I can tell you what's gonna happen. The Darth Vader guy is like the dad or something. Yeah. Yeah. Jeffy! Yeah. Stop it! Yeah. Stop it, Jeffy! Yeah. I said stop it! But no, don't you dare do the diaper thing. I don't want to see. Yeah, 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 yeah. Stop it, Jeffy! Mama, turn off the movie! Yeah, 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 yeah. It's too long! Not too loud, I can still hear the meowing. Yeah, 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 yeah. Why? That is it! You are grounded! Why? Because we're trying to watch a movie! Why? Because we want to watch it! Why? Because we, we can do that! Why? Stop it! Why? <sighs> Who's at the door? Oh, okay, can I answer the door? No. Can Jeffy answer the door? No, Jeffy can't answer the door. Just stay here and keep beating on your cat piano. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hello? Hello, sir. Is your name Marvin? Uh, yeah, why? Well, my name's Mr. Goodman, and I'm the superintendent of your local school district, and I was coming by to congratulate you on the adoption of your new son, Jeffy. Well, no, 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 I did not adopt Jeffy. He's just staying here until we find his parents. The cops are looking for him. But are you his legal guardian? No, I'm not, no. He just lives here, and I watch over him until they find his parents. So, legal guardian. Okay. And by law, since you are Jeffy's legal guardian, you're responsible that Jeffy knows every single subject on this piece of paper. Well, and I'll be coming by tomorrow to test him on it. Well, well, what if I refuse to teach him all that stuff? Well, if you refuse to teach him all this stuff, and he fails the exam, then you go to jail. Well, go to jail? I don't want to have to do all that! Well, tough. Here, I'll be back tomorrow. <sighs> What 
What's that for, Marvin? I want you to shoot me in the head. What? Why? Because this guy showed up at the door and said I have to homeschool Jeff here or I'm gonna go to jail. And he says we have to teach him all this stuff. It's ABCs, count to 10, math, English, art, color, and at least one sport. But well, what's so hard about that? Meow. 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 Oh, just shoot me in the head. It'd be easier. Marvin, it'll be fine. Let's start with the ABCs. Meow. Jeff, are you ready to learn your ABCs? Meow. I love animals. My favorite animal is your carrot. Oh, just shoot me in the head, please. Marvin, it'll be fine. Come on, Jeffy, let's learn your ABCs. All right, Jeffy, are you ready to learn your ABCs? ABCs? Yes, Jeffy, you have to learn your ABCs by tomorrow. Our daddy goes to jail. Why? Because God hates me. Mm. All right, Jeffy, A is for apple. Apple? Very good, Jeffy, A is for apple. B. <gasps> Jeffy, are you okay? There's a scary bear on the card. Jeffy, it's not a real, <gasps> it's not a real bear. It's on the card. <gasps> put it away, put it away. Okay, okay. <sighs> C is for cupcake. Cupcake? Very good, Jeffy. C is for cupcake. This might be easy. D. <laughs> it's a dog, Jeffy. <laughs> Dogs aren't scared. <laughs> put it away, put it away, okay, okay. put it away. <sighs> That's an elephant. <laughs> what? A fish. <laughs> what? That's a goose. <laughs> a horse. Come on. <laughs> and that's all. Okay, 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 okay. No more cards. Just get the whiteboard and just write out the alphabet. Maybe that won't scare them. Okay, okay. <sighs> You're being ridiculous, Jeffy. <laughs> All right, Jeffy, you're gonna learn your ABCs using this whiteboard instead of the animal cards. Why well, I like the animal cards. No, you didn't. You screamed every time you saw an animal. All right, baby, you can teach them. Okay, Jeffy, repeat after me. A. A. B. B. C. C. D. D. E. E. Oh, okay, that, that's, gonna, that's gonna take forever. How about we sing the ABC song? Hey, Jeffy, you wanna learn a song? I like songs. Okay, okay, listen to this ABC song that'll teach you the ABCs. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. H I J K L M N O P Q R S T U V W X Y Yes, Y and Z. See, now you know your ABCs, right? Yeah. Oh, okay, wait. Can you say your ABCs on your own? Yeah, I can jam. Okay, okay, baby, get rid of the board. I don't want them cheating. Okay, Jeffy, say your ABCs. Okay. G Y X W V U T S R Q P O N M L K J I H G F E D C B A. Jeffy, you just said your ABCs backwards. That, that's incredible. That, that, that's more impressive than saying your ABCs just normally. How did you do that? Oh, wait, wait, wait. I'm going to count that as he knows his ABCs because that's really impressive to say them backwards. So, now we have to teach him how to count to 10. Now, that's easy. Uh, go get the cue cards for the one to 10. Okay. Okay, now, Jeffy, you're gonna learn how to count. All right, Jeffy, are you ready to learn your numbers? Numbers? Yes, Jeffy, all you have to do is learn how to count to 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. See how easy that was? One. Look, just read the card. Try this one, Jeffy. Train I one. What? No, Jeffy, that's not the letter I, that's the number one. Look, there's one train, that's the number one, and that's the number one spelled out. Try again. Train one one. Yes, Jeffy, but you don't have to say everything on the car. You can just say the number. Try this one, Jeffy. Truck, truck, two, two. You could have just said two. You don't have to say everything else. Just say the number. Duck, 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 goose, three, three. Just say the number, Jeffy. Flong, 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 four, four. <sighs> he's doing so well, Marvin. But he doesn't have to say literally what's on the card. He just has to say the number. I know, but he's doing really well. Here, Jeffy, try this one. Meow, 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 meow. Five, five. Good job, Jeffy. No more cat piano, but put that away. You have to pay attention. Aww. All right, Jeffy, try this one next. Flower, 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 six, six. Jeffy, just say the number. Balloon, 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 seven, seven. Jeffy, you don't have to read everything. Just, just the number, please. Crayon, 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 eight, eight. Jeffy, just the number. Ooh, try this one. Jesus cupcake, Christ. Cupcake, 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 nine, nine. Last one. Tractor, 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 ten, ten. All right, we're done. We're done. No more. No more. Marvin, I think he could do one more. No. Yeah, I want another one. No, no, we're done. Okay, one more. <sighs> Here you go. 
Here you go. Bunny rabbit, 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 bunny rabbit. Strawberry, 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 strawberry,
You don't have another four to add to it. Stop bringing up the four. You have a four, it's gone. You subtract the four, it's gone. Eight is left. Yes, eight is left, but no, it's, it's, it's four, Jimmy. Eight minus four is four. Screw this helmet, screw this pencil, screw this diaper, screw Einstein, and screw Newton. The answer is eight. Okay. You take the four off the car, and the answer's eight. Okay, Jeffy, fine, fine. The answer's eight. Eight minus four is eight. You got your way. You're right. You're right. The science is wrong. All the scientists are wrong. All those people are wrong. For, for years and years and years, everyone's been wrong. Eight minus four is eight, okay? That, that is the official answer, okay? Yep. All right, let's move on. He knows math. He's a genius at math. He's a math genius. So let's move on to art or something. Marvin, we need to go over English with him. We, we don't have to go over English. You just heard him yell at us in perfect English, right? Marvin, we're working on English next. Oh, he just... All right, Jeffy, now you're going to learn English. And I know you already know how to speak English because you've been yelling at me all day in English. But now you're going to learn phonics, how to pronounce your words better. <laughs> all right, bring me the card. All right, Jeffy, say frog. Fwog. No, see, Jeffy, you're saying it wrong. You're saying fwog. You gotta say frog. Fwog. No, there's no W. You're saying fwog. You gotta say frog. Frog. Fwog. Fwog. <laughs> no, that's not, that's not how you say it. You say frog. But you know what I'm saying. Fwog. Frog. You say frog. Frog. Fawaga. There's no W, you're saying Fawag. If you know what I'm saying, why make me change it? Draw me a picture of what I'm saying. Fawaga. Frog. Okay, okay, let's try another one. Okay, you, whatever. Get another one. All right, say giraffe. Giraffe. No, it's not giraffe, it's giraffe. Giraffe. There's no D. Where's the D? Show me the D. That's what she said. Where's the D? It's giraffe. G da raff. No, it's giraffe. G da raff. Stop saying G da raff. It's giraffe. That's how I say it. G da raff. Okay, fine. Whatever. Just put it down. You know you got that one. Whatever. Ooh, you'll like this one, Jeffy. Why, why? N no, it's yo yo. Why, why? No, 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 no. Don't read the top. Read the bottom. Yo yo. Why, why? N no, Jeffy. Say yo yo. Why, why? No, like, like, act like a like a cool gangster. Yo yo. Why, why? Marvin, don't teach him that. Oh, okay, you know what? Fine. You know, you already know English. I told you he already knows English. He's a genius. Let, let's move on to the next thing. Here we go. Uh, we got um, uh, art and coloring. Look, he, he loves to color. He loves He's art. He's good at that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let, let's go color with some crayons. Uh-oh. Look what we got here. We got the next Picasso. Look at him go. I colored a bug. <gasps> yes, you did. And <gasps> what's that? Did you stay inside the lines? Yay, Jeffy! Yay, Jeffy did a good boy. Yeah, Jeffy did a good boy, so we can knock off coloring off that. So all we have to do is teach him at least one sport. That's it. Hmm, what about baseball? No, 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 no. Baseball is too dangerous. How about T-ball? T-ball? Yeah, T-ball is really easy and no one will get hurt. I like T-ball. I, I know you will. You're going to love T-ball. Let's go learn T-ball. All right, Jeffy, this is T-ball. It's literally the easiest sport in the world. Anybody can play it. See, unlike baseball, where someone throws the ball at you really fast, this ball is just sitting on a tee, and no one's moving it. So all you have to do is hit this ball with your bat. T-ball? Yeah, yeah, just hit this ball with that bat. Go. Close, Jeffy. Close. Oh, Jeffy, 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 get him a bigger bat. Okay. I think if you have a bigger bat, it might be easier for you to hit the ball. Oh, here you go, Jeffy. Oh. Careful there, slugger. Uh, that's a big bat. Now try to hit the ball. No, no, no. You got to hit the ball, Jeffy. What? Oh, no, you hit it the wrong way. You got to hit that way. All right, Jeffy. Hit the ball. Oh, Marvin, I'm so sorry. Has the swelling gone down at all? The doctor said my brain might hemorrhage. And you know what? That would be just fine. I'll get it. I'll get it. No, no. Let, let the injured guy go answer the door. The guy, the guy, you know, who got hit in the face with the baseball bat. Hello? Hey, Marvin. What the hell happened to you? T-ball. I didn't know T-ball was a contact sport. It's not. Huh. Well, anyway, I'm here to administer... Jeffy, knock it off! Good boy. Anyway, I'm here to administer Jeffy's exam. Well, he's going to fail it anyway, so come inside. Hmm. Well, baby, these are the last few minutes we get to spend together before I go to jail. Do you think he's going to pass, Marvin? No, no, I don't. I don't think he's going to pass at all. I don't think there's any chance he's going to pass. He looks like he's concentrating over there. Oh, he's concentrating. Well, in that case... Marvin, stop it! 
it. Nope, he did this while we were watching the movie. Marvin, you know better than that. Nope, he does this all the time. Marvin, stop it! Okay, fine. He just does that all the time. Marvin? Uh, yes? Your son is finished testing now. Oh, man. Can you give me a few minutes to say goodbye to my girlfriend? I know I'm going to jail. Well, I would like to say that your son passed with flying colors. He did? I would like to say that, but unfortunately, over 90% of his exam was wrong. Oh, no. I'm going to jail. <laughs> would you mind explaining this to me? Oh, not this again. Yeah, 8 minus 4. What is it, Marvin? It's four. No, it's not. It's eight. You see, because you have an eight up here, minus the four, you take the four off the paper. What is it? Eight. Eight. Eight is left. So look, Jeffy taught me this earlier. Eight minus whatever number you have down here is always eight. So if you're subtracting something from the bigger number up top, it's always going to be that bigger number down below. And we're going to give him an honorary Harvard degree. Well, his son is a genius. A Harvard degree over that? Absolutely. And we're going to be calling it Jeffy's Law of Subtraction. What well, that doesn't make any sense. Eight minus four is four. No, it's not. You have eight up here. Take the four off the paper. What's left? Eight. Eight. Exactly. And it's just like that with any other equation. But earlier it was eight minus four was four. I don't care what it was earlier. Now it's eight minus four equals eight. You take the four off the paper. Always. You always take the number that you're subtracting off the paper and it's going to be the bigger number. That doesn't make any sense. Stupid. I don't care if it's stupid or not. We're calling it Jeffy's Law of Subtraction and we're giving your son, your genius son, a honorary Harvard degree. Can you, can you do me a favor? Can you? Can you shoot me in the head with this gun? Sure. Jeffy, it's time for bed. Daddy, can I send it one more time before bed? Jeffy, what is this thing? Well, there's a little car in here, and when I hit this thing, it goes around the doodah. Then just do it real quick. All right. Oh, Jeffy, you hit me with the car. Can I do it one more time? No, Jeffy, it's time to go to bed. Come on. Let's do all the things you want to do. Okay, Jeffy, just lay down and go to sleep. But I want fried okra. Wait, what, Jeffy? No, it's too late. You're not getting fried okra. I want it fried. You're not getting it, Jeffy. In my mouth. Jeffy, just go to sleep. I don't want to hear a peep out of you. Peep. Peep, peep. Jeffy, shut up. <laughs> Wait, Jeffy, did you just shoot me with a Nerf gun? No. Wait, Jeffy, what is that? Fried okra. Where'd you get fried okra? The fried okra tree. Jeffy, why don't you just eat that fried okra? Because that's yesterday's fried okra. You can't expect me to eat day old okra. But Jeffy, I don't know what's going on. Just, just go to sleep, please. Aww. All right, Jeffy, good night. This door is so squeaky. Jeffy? I want fried okra. No, Jeffy, you have fried okra in your bed. Go to sleep. That door is so squeaky. I have to get that fixed soon. Oh, I just want to lay down and watch TV. <laughs> Jeffy's dumb toys on the couch. I'm going to play with it. It's broken. It's dumb. Jeffy, your dumb toy's broken. Jeffy, close the door. Okra. No, Jeffy, you're not eating okra. Okra. It's too late for okra. Close the door. Okra. I'm closing it. <laughs> Jeffy, I said close the door. Thank you. J J Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! It's so annoying! I'm getting a fix! I'm calling somebody to fix it! Hey there, somebody call a handyman? I can do literally anything except give handies. So I guess I'm a not handyman. But I can fix things, so what do you need? Well, my son's door is Oh, really is this Hot Wheels? Oh, that's so sick. Hey, do you mind if I send it? <sighs> sure. Oh, so close! Oh man, that was cool. Hey, do you mind if I try again? Okay, fine, but like, yeah, listen to what's wrong. So, my son has this door that's really squeaky. I'm listening. The, 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 my son has this door that's really squeaky. Oh, right there, every time! Okay, I'm trying again. Oh, no, but my son door is really squeaky, and I want you to fix it, and you're not even listening. Oh, okay, this thing sucks. Uh, what, what were you saying? So my son has this door, it's really squeaky, and I was wondering if you'd fix it. Oh, squeaky door? Yeah, that's easy, I can do that. Just show me. Okay, it's over here. All right, here's the door. Listen. Hey, hey, you know what that sounds like? My bed springs in college. Huh? Yeah, because I was doing a lot of this, you know? Yeah, I'm just kidding. I didn't actually have a girlfriend. But you know, good for the people who can get hoes. Can you please fix my door? Oh yeah, it's an easy fix. I just gotta use some of this WD-40. What's WD-40? You don't know what WD-40 is? Pfft, what an idiot. Everybody knows what WD-40 does. It, it, uh, it, 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 uh, it, it stops squeaks, removes and protects, loosens rusted parts, frees sticky mechanisms, drives out moisture, and is fatal if swallowed.
Nah, I'm just kidding. But can you imagine, though? Just, and that's it. I'm gone. Dead. That's it. No more me. Can you please fix the door? Yeah, sure. You weren't gonna stop me? Pfft, yeah, some friend. No, I just want you to fix my door. No, 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 you act like you're gonna do it. Well, no, I don't wanna do No, that. act like you're gonna do it. No, 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 don't do that. Don't you know that's fatal if swallowed? You're gonna die. Hey, hey, man, I care about you. I don't want you to do something like that. See, that's what you should have done. Oh, look, I just want you to fix my door. I know you're not gonna do it. Okay, fine. Okay, I put a crap ton on there. Now let's see if the door squeaks. What? What the hell? It's still squeaking. Okay, okay fine, I'll just put more on there. And you know what? I'll do all the hinges. Except for that one. That one's too high up. That one's higher than my ex-wife during the custody hearing. I mean, she still got custody of the kids because I had two DUIs. But, let's see if the door squeaks. What? Oh, oh, okay, what's going on here? Does this stuff not work? I bet it's not even fatal if swallowed. What, really? You weren't gonna stop me again after all that? You know what? You're a bad friend. You deserve to have a squeaky door. Hm. What, no, 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 I just want you to fix my door, please. <sighs> okay, fine. Get me some peanut butter. Peanut butter? Who's the handyman here? Me or you? Go get the peanut butter. Okay. Why are you putting peanut butter on my door? Because it's gonna muffle the squeak because it's so thick. Just like my ex-wife. You know, she was thick, fat. All right, whenever I close the door, you're not gonna hear the squeak anymore. What is that? What is that crunching noise? What? Oh, no, you didn't. What? You got extra crunchy peanut butter? Yeah, I like it. What, what, are you sick in the head? Who the hell uses extra crunchy peanut butter? I do. What, do you put glass in your cake? What? Do you, do you eat eggs with the shell still on them? No. Well, it's the same thing. Well, I just like extra crunchy peanut butter. Do you have creamy peanut butter? No, just that. Well, see, that's the problem. You used crunchy peanut butter, so now we got a crunch and a squeak. You just added a crunch to the squeak. Oh, well, can you just fix my door? <sighs> Go get me a belt. A belt? Yeah, because the door's making a noise, and when I was a kid and I was making noises, my mom would beat me with a belt, and that sure shut me the hell up. A belt's not gonna work with a door. Go get the belt! Ugh. Okay, here's your belt. Oh, that's a good one. That looks like it's gonna hurt. Okay, hold on, let me get into character. <clears throat> Brookie, get your ass in here! Yes, Mommy? Brookie, let me see your report card! Have you been drinking, Mommy? Shut up and let me see your report card! What's this? All C's again! No son of mine's gonna be this average! Ugh, ugh, ugh. You think I like doing this? Well, I do! It hurts you so much more than it hurts me, and I love it! Okay, this door's definitely not gonna squeak after that. Oh, you want some more, do you? Stop, stop, it's not gonna work. <sighs> yeah, I guess you're right. Oh, man. I've, I've never seen a door this squeaky in my whole life. Well, can you fix it or not? Hey, do you think there's more doors in the world or wheels? What? Like, in the whole world, do you think there's more doors or wheels? I don't know. Well, like, if you think about a car, there's, like, four doors, but there's also four wheels. So, I mean, I guess it kind of evens out there. But if you think about an 18-wheeler, there's so many more wheels than there are doors. Oh, and, like, in skyscrapers, like, there's a whole bunch of doors, but, like, no wheels. I mean, I guess there's wheels in the elevators. But then there's, there's, there's also doors, too! Well, in a car, there's also a steering wheel. Oh, my my god, you're right, they got like five wheels! Oh, okay, so how many cars are there in the whole world? I don't know. Well, Google it. No! Okay, fine, I'll Google it. How many cars are there in the world? What? There's 1.4 billion cars! Wow, oh, okay, so you multiply that by five, that's that's like almost six billion wheels! Man, that's, that's, that's crazy. That's a lot of wheels. Oh, oh my god, you know what else has wheels? Trains? Trains have wheels, and, and trucks, and buses, and, and not boats. Oh, they have a steering wheel! Oh my god, I gotta Google so many things. Oh, no, 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 can, can you please just fix my door or not? <sighs> Listen, man, I think only God could fix this door. <gasps> that's it! We can ask God to fix the door! God is too busy to fix my stupid door. Oh, it's worth a shot. God, please fix this door. <sighs> hey guys, what's up? Uh, God, I'm sorry for bothering you. Oh, not at all. I was just in my room looking at TikTok. You know, I've been alive forever. That's a really long time, so I'm pretty bored by this point. You know, I used to watch dinosaurs fight and kill each other. Now I just watch people lip sync and dance. <sighs> what happened? I'm gonna send a meteor and reset this whole mess. So what's up? Um, well, see, my door's really hey, squeaky. Hey, hey, God, are there more doors in the world or wheels? Oh, that's a really good question. It's actually wheels, but it's close. I knew it. Well, God, so my door's really squeaky. No, no, sorry, that's all the time I had. I gotta go meet Poseidon at Cracker Barrel. Ugh. You know those little peg games they have on the tables? I've never been able to figure those out. All these years, I've never been able to do it. Anyway, I'll see you guys later. What the, what the, oh, great. Not even God was able to fix my door. Yeah, sorry. I'm just really obsessed about this whole doors and wheels thing. Glad I got my answer, though. Are you able to fix my my door or not? No, man, I don't think I can do it. This door's a lost cause. I knew it. I knew you couldn't do it. What, excuse me? I knew you weren't good enough to fix my door. What? Hey, I'm pretty good. No, if you were good, you'd fix my door by now. I'm gonna go hire a real handyman. What? Oh, okay. Okay, you want your door fixed? All right, fine. I'll fix your door. What, 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 what are you doing? I'm fixing it! Stop! 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 
What, 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 what are you doing? I'm fixing your door. No, you just broke my door. Oh, well, that was just part of the plan. Uh, I was gonna break the door so that I could buy you a new door that doesn't squeak. What? Oh, you're gonna go get me a new door? I, I, yeah, I'll go get it right now. Oh, oh my God. Uh, here you go. Here's your new door. It looks just like the old one, except it doesn't have a big hole in the middle. Yep, and this one doesn't squeak. I guarantee it. Well, then install it. All right, here we go. All right, the new door's installed. But does it squeak? Let's find out. Oh, please, 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 please. Ah, you hear that? No squeak! But you did it! Yes, I am so good. Why am I so good? Well, hmm. Where'd you get the door from? Oh, I took it off my daughter's bedroom. She doesn't need it. You know, she's getting older. She might start having boys over. So anything she does not there, she's going to have to do with no door. Well, how much do I owe you? hundred bucks. A hundred bucks? Yeah, man, I did a lot today. I, I had to steal my daughter's door. I had to relive childhood trauma. I did a lot. Okay, let me grab my wallet. Okay. All right, here's your hundred dollars. Thank you. I think I'm going to use this to buy a Hot Wheels set like this one. It's so cool. Oh my god, I didn't even think about all the wheels on toy cars. They got like four wheels and no doors. Oh my god. How many Hot Wheels cars do you think there are in the world? I don't know. I'm going to Google it. How many Hot Wheels cars in what? Oh my god, there's like four billion Hot Wheels cars. And it says if you lay them all end to end, it'll circle the entire globe four times. So there's four billion cars. That's like, that's like 16 billion wheels. No wonder the wheels are winning. That's so crazy. Oh, I didn't even think about Lego wheels. Oh, the wheels are just piling up. Ugh. Hey, Daddy, why'd you replace my door? Because it wouldn't stop squeaking, Jeffy. Oh, you mean this noise? What? Jeffy, was you making the noise? Maybe. What, Jeffy, so we'd have to replace the door? Maybe. Wait, Jeffy, why would you do that? Because I wanted fried okra. Oh, that sounds so good. Hey, you want to go to Cracker Barrel? I heard God's going to be there. Oh, my God. Leave. Both of you guys leave. Hey, Nanny, what do you call a nose that's 12 inches long? What? A foot. <laughs> Very funny, Jeffy. Dang, can you go in your store and buy me a Ruma Cube? What? A Ruma Cube. Are you saying Rubik's Cube? No, a Ruma Cube. Jeffy, it's pronounced Rubik's Cube. No, it's a Ruma Cube. Marvin, you know what he means. Stop agitating him. I want him to say it right. Rubik's Cube. Ruma Cube. <sighs> I'm not going to buy it for you unless you say it right. It's a Ruma Cube. Go buy me a Ruma Cube. Marvin, just go to the store and get it for him. Okay, fine, Jeffy. I'm going to go buy you a Rubik's Cube. Ruma Cube. Okay, there's the Rubik's Cube that Jeffy wanted. All right, Jeffy, here's your Rubik's Cube. Dang, that's not a Ruma Cube! That's not what I wanted! Yes, it is, Jeffy! That's a Rubik's Cube! You're just saying it wrong! I never said I wanted a Rubik's Cube! I want Ruma Cube! Aw, Marvin, he said Rubik's Cube right! Wait, so you're not saying Rubik's Cube? No, I want a Ruma Cube! What the hell is a Ruma Cube? You don't know what Ruma Cube is? No, I'm gonna take you to the store so you can show me! Great! All right, Jeffy, show me. Show me what it is that you wanted. Right here, Daddy. Rumacube. Rumacube. I thought you were saying Rubik's Cube wrong. Why, Daddy? Because I'm slow? Yes. <laughs> so, Jeffy, that's what you wanted, right? Yep. Do you even know what it is? Yeah, it's the original Rumacube. Brings people together. Classic. Okay, Jeffy, if I get this for you, you're not getting anything else, okay? All right, Daddy. <sighs> All right, Jeffy, let's go. All right. Squishy AF. Dang, dang, dang! What, Jeffy? Can I have one of these? No, I'm already getting you the Rumacube. Well, I want both. Choose one, Jeffy. Rumacube or whatever that is. Rumacube. All right, come on, let's go. What is that, Marvin? Rumacube. You mean there's something actually called Rumacube? I've never heard of it in my entire life. See, I told you guys I wasn't saying Rubik's Cube. Jeffy, did you gain some weight? He says what? I know you ain't talking about my fupa with your ass. Jeffy, it does look like you're getting fatter. It's called a thyroid problem, okay? I'm going through a little bit of a hormonal change. And so it's causing me to gain weight. Or maybe I'm pregnant from when you screwed me in the store and said I couldn't get a second toy. Jeffy, language. I'm sorry, mother. I'm just going through all these hormones as a teenager, and it is making me gain weight, and I'm a little bit sensitive about it. Jeffy, do you have something in your shirt? Strong, maybe. Let me see. Oh, yeah? Birth? Huh? Jeffy, did you steal this from Target? No, nope. it jumped in my shirt and ran away. So you stole it? No, Daddy, you bought me that forever ago. Baby, did we buy this for him a long time ago? I don't know, Marvin. He has so many toys. And you have a lot of toys, too, Mommy. I heard you playing with Buzz Lightyear and Woody the other day because I kept hearing Buzz Lightyear go, bzzz. I don't know. Okay, Jeffy, so you promised me you didn't steal this. Strong, maybe. Jeffy? Um, no, I didn't steal it. You bought me that forever ago. Okay, are you ready to play Rumacube? Honestly, Daddy, I don't know what Rumacube is. I just heard someone talk about it the other day, and I said, I want that. And now that I see it, I don't want that. I'm actually going to go chill on this in my room. Baby, do you want to play Rumacube? Okay, Marvin. Ew! 
Squishy AF. I'm so glad I stole it. It's so squishy and soft. Oh, lay on it. Oh, this would be so amazing if I could have my entire bed covered in these. If I could go back to the store and get enough of them to cover my entire bed, that would be so pee pee. Daddy, we gotta go back to the store. So baby, how do we play this game? I don't know, Marvin. I just followed the pictures. Dang, dang, dang. We have to go back to Target right now. Why? We, uh, we, 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 we don't have Cheerios. Yes, we do downstairs. No, we don't. Yes, we do. Nope. Come on. Nope. I'll show you, Jeffy. Nope. Come, come on. Look, Jeffy, there's Cheerios right there. That box is empty. No, it's not. Check. It's barely full. No, Jeffy, there's so many Cheerios in there. Well, those are stale. No, they're not. Just eat them. What? What? Jeffy, what are you doing? Whoops. No, we're... I need to go to Target. Oh. All right, Jeffy, we'll go get you new Cheerios. Come on. No, Jeffy, no. We're going to the cereal aisle. No toys. All right, Daddy. Give me one second. Hmm, what kind of Cheerios does Jeffy like? All right, Daddy, I'm ready to go. What kind of Cheerios do you like, Jeffy? Oh, it doesn't matter. I'm ready to go. Okay, I'll just grab these. All right. All right, Jeffy, there's your Cheerios. Go eat them. I'm not really hungry right now, Daddy. I'm actually kind of full. What? Jeffy, do you have something under your shirt again? No, this is my belly. I just didn't shave today. Oh, birth. Jeffy, did you steal this one? Daddy, I am not a thief, and I'm getting tired of you accusing me of stealing things. You bought me this forever ago. Then why was it under your shirt? Because I like the way it feels on my nipples. There, I said it. Is that what you wanted to hear, Daddy? My potty mouth? It just seems weird that it keeps being under your shirt. Well, leave me be. Something weird's going on. What is it? Squishy! Oh, this is the life. Now, if I could just get like one, two, three, 50 more, then that would be complete. My entire collection on my bed. But I can't fit 50 of them underneath my shirt. I can only fit one at a time. So I have to take a lot more trips back to Target. Daddy! Smell my breath. Oh, Jesus Christ, Jeffy. Why is your breath like shit? Don't tell anyone, Danny, but I got a chocolate factory in my pants and just keep producing chocolate. Yummy. You've been eating your own poop, Jeffy? Uh, yeah. Oh, my God. You have to go brush your teeth, Jeffy. Well, I would brush my teeth, Danny, but I don't have any toothpaste. You have toothpaste it's in the bathroom. Well, I took that toothpaste and I squeezed it all in the toilet. Why? Because the toilet smelled bad and I was trying to clean it and I wanted it to smell like mint. You did not do that, Jeffy. I did, Daddy. I'm a stinker. Oh, my God. I'm going to go check. Jeffy! Huh? You really poured all the toothpaste in the toilet? Yeah, that or we got a Smurf shitting in our toilets. But you might want to call the police if that's the case. Now we're all out of toothpaste. Darn, looks like we need to go to Target. Oh, come on, Jeffy. <coughs> no, Jeffy, no toys. We're only here for toothpaste. Okay, Danny, I'll meet you over there in a minute. Hey, you like Squishmallows, huh? Mm-hmm. Yep. I see you lifting your shirt up. Uh, you trying to rub your wiener on it? Because uh, between me and you, it feels pretty good. But anyway, yeah, these things are really popular. I mean, they sound like hotcakes. We just can't keep them on the shelf. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay, well, you have a good day. All right, Jeffy, here's your toothpaste. Go brush your teeth. All right, I'll get right on that. Jeffy, what is that? It's my big rainbow winner. No, Jeffy, it's one of those stuffed animal things. Don't do that, Daddy. I might spit. Jeffy! Jeffy, did you steal this from the store? No, Daddy, it's my package. I was born with it. I'm a shower, not a grower. Jeffy, you keep coming up with new ones. Where are you getting these from? These are mine that I've always had. You bought all of these for me forever ago. Jeffy, go brush your teeth. All right, Daddy. No, you gotta grab the toothpaste, Jeffy. I'll use the toothpaste that's in the toilet. Yeah, hell yeah. Now we're cooking. Squish, squish, squish. This is actually gonna take a while. Montage time. Daddy, we ran out of toilet paper. Target. Daddy, Target. I did it. My whole bed's covered in squish mellows. Oh, man, baby, I'm so tired. I'm sure, Marvin. You've been to Target like 30 times tonight. Well, Jeffy kept asking for stuff. I know, Marvin. Just make a list before you go next time. Hey! What? 
Oh, but Target guy, what are you doing here? Yeah, that's me. I'm mad. How long were you here for? Long enough. Where's your son? I need to talk to him. He's in his room, I think. Well, he's about to be in jail because he's been shoplifting from my Target. What shoplifting? What did he shoplift? We had an entire aisle of Squishmallows, and I thought they were selling like hotcakes. And then I go to look at the sales record, and it turns out we haven't sold any at all because your son has been stuffing them in his shirt and walking out the door. I knew he was doing that. Oh, so you knew he was doing that? That's why you kept bringing him back to Target? What? No, he was distracting me by asking for single items at a time. Okay, yeah, well, your son's going to jail now. Oh, oh don't, he, you don't have to arrest him. How about I just pay for him? Okay, yeah, that'll be $1,000. $1,000 well, for stuffed animals? Well, look, man, I don't make the trends. In the 80s, it was Beanie Babies. In the 90s, it was Furbies. Now it's Squishmallows. It's what people want. Well, I'm not going to pay $1,000 for stuffed animals. Well, we also accept ducks. We accept ducks and we accept goats. You can pay in livestock. We use the barter system at Target. What? I can pay with live animals? Yeah, if you got live animals, you can pay with that. They, they actually do that at Target. Look it up. You can actually pay with live animals at Target. Go ahead. I'll give you a second to Google it. You idiot! Why would you actually believe that? Have you ever seen a duck at Target? No. Where would they even put them? Come on. Come on. Do better. I mean, think about that. That's stupid, right? If you fell for that, subscribe. If you didn't fall for it, like. Actually, you know what? Go ahead and do both. It's, it's January. We're starving over here. So, right, listen, how about we just return them? No, 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 that's, that's not going to work. See, people do unspeakable things to Squishmallows. Like, they, they rub their wiener on them. Not, not me. Like, I would, I would never do that. But, like, people who have done it say that it feels really good. But I, I wouldn't know because I, I, haven't, I haven't done that. So, like, you can't return them, though, because nobody wants a wiener mellow. Okay, listen, I'm sure Jeffy hasn't done that to him yet. So how about we go check them? Mm, okay, we can check them. But I'm going to smell them, and if I smell wiener, you owe me $1,000. Okay. Look at all these Squishmallows! Oh, God, I'm so mad. I mean, I knew he stole them, but see them all here like this? God, it makes me so mad. Why does your face look like that? Because I'm mad. This is my mad face I make when I'm really mad. Jeffy, where are you? Where are Jeffy, did you steal all these Squishmallows? Mm-mm. Liar! I see them all right here! Jeffy, we know you stole them. Why'd you steal them? Because I wanted them. <sighs> Can you smell them to make sure they don't smell like wiener? Oh, yeah. No wiener. Okay, no wiener. Wiener and poo-poo, and I see the poo-poo right here. Jeffy, did you wipe your butt with this? Oh! Why? Because it felt good on my ass crack. Jeffy, you're supposed to use toilet paper. Well, this is better than toilet paper. Have you ever seen those toilet paper commercials? They're called Charmin, and it's a big bear, and he has crusty crumbs on his butthole? Oh, yeah, I've seen those. Those are weird. Like, the papa bear's got a poopy butthole, so the baby bear has to be like, hey, you idiot, use Charmin instead, so the papa bear can wipe his butt good. It's weird. Okay, so all the other ones don't smell like wiener, right? No, I think they're fine. They even got the tags on them. So the only one I have to pay for is this one. How much is this one? It's like 40 bucks or one pigeon. I don't have live animals to pay with. All right, 40 bucks it is then. Okay, so I'll pay you the 40 bucks for this one. Now I just need to give your son a stern talking to about stealing. Hey, stealing is wrong. You know, if you steal again, we're going to cut your hand off like they almost did in Aladdin. You got it? Yeah. That's right. All right, now load these into my car. My wiener is so itchy. All right, Jeffy, let's start loading these in the car. Did you learn your lesson today? Um, I think so? What was it? Um, don't steal and only use these to wipe your butt. No. Oh man, I can't wait for Cody to get here. We're gonna have a movie night. Hey, Junior. Oh, hey, Cody. Are you ready to watch Shark Boy and Lava Girl? <laughs> am I ready to watch Shark Boy and Lava Girl? Of course I am. It's a cinematic masterpiece. I know. It was way before its time. It deserves an Oscar. Yeah, people just don't know good movies. So let's watch it. Well, Junior, on the way over here, I found this phone on the ground. You found a phone on the ground? Yeah, and it's unlocked, and it has a picture of, like, something on it. I oh, don't know. Th that's really weird. So you don't know whose phone that is? No. Well, we should do some prank calls with it, because if we call people from that phone, they won't know it's us. They'll believe it's whoever we pretend to be. <laughs> yeah. Okay, let, let, let's, let's prank call Joseph because Joseph doesn't have parents, so we should pretend to be his long-lost grandparents that are super rich and that we want to take care of him. <laughs> yeah, I like it. It's so mean, but I want to do it. Oh, let, let's do it. Let's do it. All right, Cody, I'm calling Joseph. Ooh, let me hear. Let me hear. Shut up, it's ringing. Shut up. Shh. Uh, hello? Uh, hey, is this Joseph? Yeah, who is this? Um, this is your long-lost grandpappy, Leviticus Seymour Pankins. <laughs> You sure do. You have a grandma, too. Hey, hey, it's your grandma, uh, Eleanor Saggy Bags Bacon. <laughs> wow, I really have grandparents. I never thought I would have grandparents, but now I have them. Yeah, we're your grandparents, and we're super rich, and we did a DNA test, and you're our only grandchild. So we'd love to give you all our money and travel around the world with you. Oh, man, this is like a dream come true. Thank you, Grandpa Leviticus. Oh, oh I would love to meet you right now. Where are you? Uh, we, we are, uh, at your friend Junior's house. Oh, wait, wait, why are you at Junior's house? Uh, because, uh, we were driving around in our very expensive limo looking for you because we love you so much. And, and, uh, our limo broke down in front of this kid Junior's house. 
<laughs> okay, that makes sense. Well, I'm coming over there right now. Stay there, because I never had family, and I need to meet you right now, Grandpa Leviticus. This is a dream come true! Oh, well, we're not going anywhere. We'll see you in a minute. Bye. <laughs> Joseph thinks he has grandparents that actually care about him. Junior, he seemed really excited. That's part of the prank, Cody. He believes it. Well, he's going to be really sad when he finds out we were lying. No, it just means that we're really good pranksters, and then that's how good the prank is. Look, <laughs> There he is. Okay, come on, come on, come on. Hello? Hey, guys. Where are my grandparents at? Where's your grandparents at? Yeah, dude. I finally have grandparents now. Every night, I think about ending it all. And I finally was going to do it. Tonight was going to be the night. Oh, I'm so tired of being lonely. But now I have something to live for. And that's my grandparents. Where are they? Oh, I feel bad. Me too. I think we should just tell them it's a prank and that we're sorry. Um, Joseph, what if this whole grandparents thing was just a big prank? Just a big prank? <laughs> <laughs> well, it's not, it's not a prank. We just saw your grandparents, right, Cody? Yeah, yeah, we did. Yeah, we just saw them. Oh, where are they? Well, they pulled their limo up in front of the neighbor's house, and then when they were walking across the neighbor's yard, the neighbor shot them. What? Why would he do that? The, the neighbor thought your grandparents were robbers, so he shot them. <laughs> what hospital are they in? I need to see them right now. Oh, no, 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 they're not in the hospital. He, uh, the neighbor shot them with a flamethrower, so it disintegrated your grandparents into a million pieces. Oh, I'm gonna kill your neighbor. Well, no, the cop showed up and, and shot the guy's flamethrower, and it blew up, so he blew up into a million pieces, too. Oh, I'm gonna kill your neighbor's family. Oh, well, the neighbor's family, they, they moved out of that house. When they saw him die, they sold their house immediately because they didn't want to remember the house for that, so they, they moved to uh, Antarctica. Oh, what a fast realtor. Um, well, at least my grandparents left me all their money. Oh, the news just keeps getting worse and worse, Joseph. What? As your grandparents are burning alive, they screamed out, we took every dollar bill in cash that we were going to give Joseph and put it in the, the trunk of the limo. And then the neighbors shot the limo with the flamethrower, so all the money burned up and exploded. What? There's so much fun this story. I know. Oh, well, is it going to be on the news? Oh, well, the news crew showed up and the guy shot the news crew with the with the flamethrower and their cameras burned up, so there's no footage that this even happened. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that guy was a real maniac. He, he burned a lot of things and a lot of people. Yeah. Oh, I'll never be happy. Well, Joseph, look, stuff like this happens every day. No, it doesn't. Well, look, 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 Joseph, Joseph, look, me and Cody found this phone and we've been prank calling people. You want to go make some prank calls? That'll cheer you up. Mm -hmm, I guess so. Yeah, come on, buddy. <laughs> so, Joseph, who do you want to prank call first? Uh, I don't know, dude. I'm sad. Cheer up, Joseph. Why don't you prank call Chef Pee Pee? That'd be funny. You could act like you're a Nigerian prince and you need money. Why? Because I'm black? What? No. Oh, you make everything about that. Um, How about you prank call and act like you're asking for his car extended warranty? Ooh, ooh. You could call and ask if he has 10 pound balls. Isn't that only funny if it's a bowling lane? What? No, I just want to know how big his ball sack is. Uh, look, look, we should let Joseph decide because he's the one that's sad. I'll just do the Nigerian prince one, dude. Oh, it's going to be really funny. <laughs> Okay, guys, it's rigging. You gotta stop crying, Joseph. It's not gonna be funny. Hello? Hello, Chef Pee Pee. Todd, I told you to stop calling me. I broke up with you. It was a one night thing, okay? A one night thing. Look, look, please stop crying. It's not you, it's me. It's not that I didn't like it or anything. I'm just more into girls, you know? I'm trying to find myself, okay? <laughs> look, you did look good in that cowboy hat, I'm not gonna lie. Maybe. I, I can come see you again. Maybe a spark will happen. Yeah, you know what? Screw it. I'm coming to see you tonight at 10. It'll be like last time. Old Pound Town and Brown Town. <laughs> okay? Uh, okay. Bye, tight cheeks. Bye. <laughs> Joseph, what was that? You didn't even talk. You just cried the whole time. I don't know. He was calling me Todd. I don't know what was going on. Dude, I'm just going to leave. Oh, there's someone at the door. We'll walk you out, Joseph. Hello? Hey there, is Joseph here? Who are you? My name is Leviticus Seymour Pankins. And I'm Eleanor Saggy Bags Pankins. What, what the hell? They're real? Who are these clowns? We're your grandparents. And we want to take you around the world. And give you lots of men. Joseph, these are your grandparents. Oh, I get what's going on here. You felt so bad for me that my grandparents died that you hired these clowns to pretend to be them. Well, no, 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 Joseph. These are your real grandparents. They're your real grandparents. Yep, yep, that's right. No, they're not my real grandparents, dude. Look. I gotta get over this. I, I appreciate you helping me trying to mourn this situation, but I, I gotta mourn on my own. This isn't helping. Well, no, no, these are your real grandparents. Like, your, your grandparents aren't dead. Those are your real grandparents. Okay, dude, now you're making me feel real bad, dude. They're already dead. You don't have to rub it in. What, Joseph! What, what's wrong with him? Well, no, no, uh, he's just so excited to see you guys, so come inside and we'll figure it out. Yep, yep. Okay. <laughs> but Joseph, Joseph, you have to listen to me. These are your grandparents. No, they're not, dude. You told me 
me yourself that my grandparents died and they're not coming back. No, 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 Joseph, Joseph, listen, Junior was lying. Your grandparents didn't really get burned up by a flamethrower. Shut up, Four Eyes. You don't know what you're talking about. Junior would never lie to me. He's my best friend. Isn't that right, dude? But I would lie to you. I lie to you all the time. And these are your grandparents. That's not a lie. <laughs> you don't have to lie to me to make me feel better. <laughs> now, now, Joseph, now, Joseph, listen here, son. Now, listen here. We are your grandparents. Mm -hmm. And we just want to spend a bunch of money on you before we die. Yeah, that's right, baby. Because we don't know how much longer we got left. And we want to spend our final days with our grandbaby. Yep, we just want to get you whatever you want. You see that pearl necklace your grandma wearing? I got that for her today. And between you and me, that's the second pearl necklace I got her today. Mm-hmm, yep. She a freak. She freaking. Get away from me, strangers, before I call the police! Wait, 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 that's it! Cody, the police! What if we call the police, and the police will tell them that the flamethrower thing never happened? Yeah, good thinking, Junior. I'll go call the police, and, and then I'm gonna poop. So if I'm not in the next few scenes, that's why. Okay, uh, Joe said, yeah, we're gonna call the cops! Yeah, you better! Hey there, you call the cops? Oh uh, yeah, I need your help. Mmm, I can tell. What? Well, there's no way you're gonna take on all these people in basketball by yourself. You're gonna need my help. Hold on, we'll be skins. Well, no, we're not oh, you're going down! You never played basketball against me! Me the rock. We're not playing basketball. Well, why couldn't you have told me that before I unbuttoned my shirt? Now my nipples are gonna get all cold. They're gonna get diamond hard. Feel them. I'm not gonna feel them. Look, 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 I need your help. So I, I prank called my friend and I told him his grandparents got killed by a flamethrower. Why the hell would you do that? Well, anyway, his real grandparents showed up and he doesn't believe that those are his grandparents because he thinks they're dead. So can you tell him that nobody died by a flamethrower today? Why don't you just tell him that you're a liar? I did. He won't believe me. You gotta tell him. <sighs> okay, fine. Hey, kid. <sighs> what do you want from me, you stupid pig? Okay, screw you then. Well, no, 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 tell him. No, he was mean to me. No, please tell him. Okay, fine. Hey, kid. Oi, 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 pig! Be the bigger man. Be the bigger man. That hat's dumb. It's a dumb hat. You look stupid in that hat. Damn it, I'm sorry. I was, I was trying to be mature. Uh, tell him. Look, look, your grandparents aren't really dead. What, really? No, there was no flamethrower. I mean, I'm pretty sure that would have been on the news. It would have been a big deal. But Junior said that the, the news people got hit by the flamethrower. Really? Tell them the truth. Look, no, that didn't happen either, okay? There's more than one group of news people. You would have heard about it. Oh, I see what's going on. Junior, you hired this crooked cop to lie to me. <laughs> what crooked cop? What? I got scoliosis. Hold on, let's stand up straighter. There we go. Wait, no, I did not pay the cop to lie to you. You can't even do that. Well, yeah, they do it all the time, dude. Yeah, it's true. People pay me to lie all the time, and I've planted a lot of evidence. Oh, then what can we do to make him believe it? Ooh, 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 how about this? How about I change into my doctor outfit, and then I give him a DNA test? He's got to believe that. Oh, yeah, 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 give a DNA test. Okay. I'm gonna go change in my doctor outfit. Okay. All right, I got my doctor outfit on. All right, Joseph, we're gonna do a DNA test to prove to you that they are your grandparents. Oh, what a waste of time. They're not my grandparents. Yes, they are. Listen to the doctor. Yeah. Wait, wait, aren't you that police officer that lied to me a second ago? <sighs> Yeah? Well, aren't you gonna lie to me about the DNA test results? All right, look, I give up. These people are not your real grandparents. Your real grandparents are dead. Tell me something I don't know. No, no, no. Hold on, Joseph. Hold on. We just wanted to be good grandparents and be in your life and buy you a bunch of stuff. But it's obvious now that you don't want that. So let's go, baby. Well, I always love you, baby. All right, I'm gonna walk them to the car, you know, since they're old. Thank God those posers are gone. But, Joseph, those were your real grandparents. Look, I'm tired of you lying to me, dude. I'm out of here. Well, no, come back, Joseph. Hey, you guys want to play some basketball? I'm out of here, dude! What? No, Joseph, please don't leave! No, I'm out of here, dude! I'm tired of this! First, my grandparents die, and then you hire fake grandparents to, to make fun of me! Wait, 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 what's that screaming? Dude, you're not listening to me! Oh, I am! Look, 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 I'm sorry, all this happened because I lied to you, and I promise I, I'll never lie to you again. I want to be a good friend for you. <sighs> okay, dude, I accept your apology. Jesus Christ, get, get in the house! Close the door and What's lock going it! On? There's a maniac out there with a flamethrower! He just burned up those old people! <laughs> they deserve it, loser! Oh, oh my god! The limo just exploded! There's burning money everywhere! Oh, oh good, the news is here! Oh, oh no! Oh my god, not the news! They're all on fire! This is horrible! Is, it, is that a for sale sign in your neighbor's yard? That fast? Who could sell a house at a time like this? It, but it, there's a buyer already? In a U-Haul truck? This is insane! Oh good, the police are here! Oh, oh, oh my god! They just shot the guy with the flamethrower and now he's on fire! There's so much fire happening in your front yard! Hey, dude, let, let, let's get out of here! Yeah, dude. All the humanity! Man, I was backed up. Todd, where are you? I even have the cowboy hat! Wait, who's Todd? Oh, I guess he's my ex now! <laughs> I, I can be your rebound chef, PP. Oh man, Joseph, I can't believe we're at a skate park! I know, dude! Skateboarding is so fun and easy! Really? Yeah, dude! They used to call me Joseph Hawk! Yeah, you know, cuz uh, Tony Hawk, that's my dad. He just doesn't come and see me, or pay child support. Oh, but I'm gonna go ahead and go down! <laughs> oh man, he made it look so easy! I'm gonna try it. Ah!
Whoa, dude, you wiped out! Well, shut up, Joseph, it's my first time! Oh, I can tell, but dude, look, it happens to everybody. Everybody who sucks! <laughs> dude, watch me go and grind on this rail! <laughs> watch me do this shit grind, dude! <laughs> <laughs> ha ha, Joseph, see, look, you wiped out, so you suck too. No, no he don't, dude. There was a fly in my face and, and gum on the rail. I don't see gum on the rail. Look, shut up, dude. I'm the best skater ever. My dad's Tony Hawk, and I'm going to prove it to you by doing the sickest move in the book, the hardest move. What, what's the hardest move? The 360 Vario McTwist. Is it hard? Is it hard? <laughs> Is it hard? <laughs> Dude, look, three people tried it, and 299 people have died. How'd that many people die if only three people tried it? Uh, the dude tried it with a chainsaw and firing an AK. Uh, he was doing too much. But look, I'm going to stick to landing. Watch me, dude. Uh, get my board. Dude, I'm so ready. So, Joseph, how are you going to do this trick again? Okay, dude, I'm going to go down this ramp and then go up that ramp, uh, pop an ollie, 360 spin, and then do two backflips while I stick the landing and steal all the babes. <laughs> Joseph, that sounds impossible. Dude, Impossible's my middle name. <laughs> That's why they called me Joseph Impossible Hawk. I thought your name was Joseph, his friend from school. Yeah, I legally changed it so I could make friends. <laughs> Watch me do the trick, dude. Oh, oh, oh dude. Oh, oh. Joseph, are you okay? Oh, no, my bad. Oh, Joseph, you broke your shell. Wait, what? My shell? Yeah, it shattered. Oh, no. Dude, take me to the hospital fast. Hey, do you have health insurance? No, no, dude. I'm poor. Oh, okay. I'm going to take you to my house, Joseph. We're going to get you some help. We're going to get you some help. Oh, okay, dude. Dude, I'm in so much pain. Yeah, I can see that. Why aren't you doing something, dude? You want a Cheeto? No, I don't want a Cheeto, dude. You don't have health insurance, Joseph. A doctor won't see you. Well, well maybe he'll do it for free. <sighs> Let me FaceTime him and see. Hurry up, please. Hey there, somebody FaceTime a doctor? Uh, hey, doctor. Um, I was calling because I have a few questions about my friend. Okay, what's going on? Well, uh, he was skateboarding and he did a sick trick and he landed on his shell and he broke it. Ouch, that sounds like it hurts. Uh, Joseph, does it hurt? Dude, I'm in so much pain. <laughs> yeah, it hurts. Yeah, well, I said it sounded like it hurt, so I'm not surprised. Yeah, so can you fix him? Well, yeah, sure. I can just uh, give him a new shell, you know, make him nice and shiny, and uh, he'll be good as new. You know, of course, as long as he has health insurance. But, I mean, who doesn't have health insurance, right? Uh, he doesn't have health insurance. Oh. But I can pay you in Cheetos. Y yeah, sorry, that, that that's not going to work. My I, I can't pay my bills with Cheetos. Wait, wait, what kind? Uh, they're crunchy. Yeah, see, that's not gonna work. My electric company only takes flaming Hot Cheetos or Puffy Cheetos, not not crunchy. Oh, so you can't help him? No, but I mean, you could find a good doctor on Craigslist. There's a ton of good doctors on there. Well, maybe I can find your mom on Craigslist. You little talking about my mother. Put your face near the phone so I can pretend I'm punching you. Okay. What, Joseph? I went on Craigslist and I found you a doctor. Well, what, you did? He's right here. No, 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 no. Dude, that's a clown. Mm -mm. Screwball. His name's Screwball, and unlike the other doctor, he will get paid in Cheetos. Mm -hmm. So pay up. Oh. <sighs> oh. Oh, you missed. Well, anyway, he can make you a new shell. Wait, really? You can make him a new shell, right? Yep, I already did. It's right here. Whoa, Joseph, look at your new shell. Wait, wait, dude, it's a balloon. Look, just be grateful and try it on. <laughs> okay. Do you love it? No, dude, it's a balloon. It doesn't fit. I need an actual shell. Well, can you make an actual shell? Mm-mm. Where are my Cheetos? <sighs> Here's your payment. Mm, Cheetos. So you don't like your shell? No, I don't like my shell. <laughs> well, I don't I don't know what to do, Joseph. You have to accept your balloon shell, because I don't know anyone else that could give you a shell. Dude, I need an actual shell. Dude, I would do anything for a shell. Wait, hey, hey. <laughs> the devil what are you doing here i heard him say he would do anything for a new shell wait wait i didn't say that joseph don't lie you said it nobody likes liars okay i said it dude <laughs> yeah, you said it. so what would he have to do for a new shell all he would have to do is just give me his soul hey hey, hey. 
it. Wait, my soul? That's it? But Joseph, you actually give him your soul? Yeah, I give him my soul. I'm not using it. What do I need it for? Let's do it. Okay. okay. What type of shell would you like? You could get one with spikes on it. Ooh, a spiky one. Or one with built-in speakers. <gasps> speakers? Ooh, yeah, I like that. Wait, I can customize it? Yeah, this is Pimp My Shell. Ooh, I like this. Um, how about a red one? Ooh, I like a red one. Yeah, I know. It's going to be cool. Ooh, a red one with wings. Oh, yeah, with wings. Yeah, ooh, a red one with wings. And can I get red shoes to match? Okay. Is there anything else you like? No, that's it. Ooh, this is going to be cool. All right, here you go. Blay, hey. Aw, oh, shit, dude. Wait, Joseph, did you say the S word? No, I said aw, oh, shit, dude. Oh, okay. I thought you said a bad word. I was going to go tell my mommy. No, no. Anyway, Joseph, that's a cool new shell. I know, dude. It's so red. And it has wings. Yeah, wait, what? It has wings. No. Uh huh. What's wrong, Joseph? I didn't want wings. I wanted a plate of wings. I'm hungry. Oh, well, then you should have specified. <laughs> Too bad. Anyway, thanks for the soul. See you later. Literally. Oh, wait. Are you going to eat this Cheeto? No, you can have it. Thanks. Mm -hmm. Oh man, Joseph, your new shell is so cool. I know, dude, and it's so much better than yours. <laughs> Wait, what? Yeah, dude, mine's is new, red, and it has wings. Look, yours is just old, green, and ugly. Well, yours used to be green. Yeah, used to be. And then I got cooler and I got a new shell with wings. <laughs> I can fly. <laughs> Joseph, you can't fly. The hand that's controlling you is just hovering. Shut up, dude. Stop hating on my new shell. Why are you so jealous? I'm not jealous of your new shell, Joseph. You're just acting mean. And I'm not acting mean. Stop being mean. Sensitive. Well, you insulted my shell because you got a new one. It's just old and spiky. Nobody likes spikes anymore. Well, you're just stupid. Yours has wings. What are you in a Red Bull commercial? Look, look. I'm just gonna go and find some new friends since you're so jealous of my new shell. Well, I'm not jealous of it. That shell changed you. Oh, it changed me? Nah, it just changed the friends around me. Well, <laughs> no, no, you know what, Joseph? You're stupid. You're not even flying. You're just, you're just doing this. And shut up, Joseph. I'm gonna call Cody. <laughs> hey, Junior, what's up? Hey, Cody. Joseph's a stupid poopy butt face. Why is Joseph a stupid poopy butt face? Because he broke his shell and he got a new one and he thinks he's so cool. How'd he break his shell? We were at the skate park and he was doing a really cool trick, but he landed on his shell and he broke it. Ouch. Yeah, ouch, but then he made a deal with the devil and he sold his soul for a new shell. That doesn't sound like a good deal. Well, his new shell's red and it has wings. That does sound pretty cool. It's so cool, Cody, but, but Joseph's acting really mean. How mean is he acting? What's up, dork? Wait, wait, are you talking to Cody on the phone? Are you telling him how dorky you are? We're, no, no, we're talking about how you're so stinky. Stinky? Really, Junior? Shut up, Cody, I got this. Wow, your insults are just like your shell. Bad. Good one, dude. <laughs> yeah, that was good. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Well, well, Joseph, who are those people? Oh, they're my new friends. This is Gooms. What's up, dude? And this is my other friend, Bully Bill. What's up? Yeah, <laughs> they like me. They're not jealous of my shell like you are. I I'm not jealous of your shell. Your shell is really stupid. No, it's not. My shell is new. Isn't it nice, guys? Yeah, I like it. Yeah, it's cool. See, they like it. They're not jealous. Yours is just old green. Greasy, dirty. Ugh, it, should, it belongs in the dumpster. That's what it should be. You, you know what, Joseph? You need to get punched in the face. No, uh, uh, uh. <laughs> you can't reach me because I got wings. <laughs> hey, guys, how about we jump them? Let's show them some power. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's leave, guys. Uh, uh, Cody, why don't you have my back? What, Cody? Uh, sorry, Junior. I, I was in the bathroom, but I didn't want to take the phone in there because I didn't want you to be shocked by how big it is. Well, Cody, I just got beat up by Joseph and his new friends. Oh, that sucks. I'm sorry, I missed it. Well, why didn't you get, have my back? Why didn't you fight him back? Well, Junior, I couldn't help you anyway. I'm on a phone. Well, did you see how mean Joseph's being? Well, I didn't really see anything because the camera's facing the couch, but I heard him and he sounded like a jerk. Yeah, he's acting really mean. So, so how do I get the old Joseph back? I miss Joseph with his old shell. Well, I think what you have to do is break his new shell. What, break his new shell? That, that could hurt him. What, what if I sell my soul to the devil and I get an even cooler shell than his? No, no, Junior, that's stupid. Just break his new shell and then he won't think he's cool anymore and he'll stop being a jerk. I guess you're right, Cody. I'm gonna go break Joseph's new shell. Okay, I just finished my birdhouse. Now I'm gonna tell Joseph that I got him a gift and when he comes and sees it, I'm gonna hit him in the shell with this hammer and break it. It's perfect. <laughs> Joseph, what? ow! <laughs> I'm playing with your arrogance. Wait, what do you want, dork? Well, what are you guys doing in my playroom? Playing with your toys. What are you going to do about it? It's three against one. Well, uh, Joseph, I came here because I made you an I'm sorry for being jealous gift. <laughs> See, guys, I knew he was jealous. I told you. Well, I'm not jealous. I mean, 
I am really jealous of your new shell, so I made you a gift to say I'm sorry. So uh, come in the kitchen. I, I want to show it to you. I guess I could come and see what it is. Look, guys, this dork wants to show me something. I'll be right back, okay? All right. All right, dude, what's the stupid gift you made me? Well, since you have wings and you fly around, I made you a birdhouse. Wait, my own house? Yeah, you know, you fly around, so I thought, why don't you live in a birdhouse? Dude, I haven't lived in a house in years. Wow, you are a best friend. Wait, wait I'm your best friend? Yeah, dude, you're my best friend. Like, who makes a house for someone? Well, well what about those other friends you have? They're not really my friends, dude. They just like me for my shell. Oh, well, I mean, I was going to break your shell with this hammer because you are being really mean, but I guess I don't have to do that now. Dude, you're my best friend. Well, look, you don't have to break my shell. Look, I'll fly you around. How about that? Come on. Oh, okay. <laughs> Oh man, Joseph, I'm so glad we're best friends again. Me too, dude. I was so afraid you weren't going to be my friend anymore because then I'd have to hang out with Cody. Oh, dude, that sounds awful. I know, right? Yeah. Jenny, you never hung out. 